stream was delayed by a whole another eight minutes! Son of a bitch! I'm upset. And so should you be. Eight whole minutes. You know what you could have done in eight whole minutes? You could have eaten a quiche. Couldn't have eaten uh, a piece of bacon. You could have made yourself some eggs in eight minutes. Fuck, I'm late. I'm just trying to say angry for no reason. Now, it, um, it's like, Lily, of course, right when I'm about to start the stream, it's like, hey, can you do this real quick? It's like, okie dokie. So. Yeah. Other than that, I think everything should still be pretty much on time. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my hands, I'm putting on giant condoms. Giant condoms around my hands to give my art pad uh, protection. That way, I don't transfer STDs to it when I put the thing on the thing and then uh and something and something magical happens and it comes out of it it's like oh oh my god and then when that happens whoo whoo a little too much for me but you know not my jurisdiction to talk about that part no yeah, i just put my wrist braces on i my wrist feel a little better Or, uh, my wrist compression things. Yep, my hands feel silky smooth. They feel like chocolate rain. Pour acid right down my brain. Chocolate rain. Make sure that I'm going insane. Chocolate rain. Stab someone else in the... Stab someone else, then shift the blame. Chocolate rain. Come into my nose, and then, and then, uh, and then I'm game. I don't know. I don't really think about these rhymes. When I do think about rhymes, they're gold. When I don't, they just come out as nonsense. Which is fine by me. It really is. I gotta go put my phone back in the charger. Uh, I wasn't ready for today. I love kids, Jolly. I love kids. Pim, you really shouldn't be screaming that out loud. All right. Now that everything is underway, let's get this all started. <laughs> Every time. I never, I will never remember to fix that. What song is this? Gens? Hmm. Also, why is it on this screen? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Why is it on my streaming thing? I don't want it there. I want it here. There we go. That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm a burping, smurping. I'm going like, ah, hi. Also, I'm gonna fix this. Ha ha! You've got even more screen to look at. By a whole two percent! Can you believe it? Two percent more screen. You get you get this stream window with an extra two percent. With that kind of deal, you can only get that in Albany. Man, you wouldn't believe the deals they get in Albany. And don't even get me started on Albuquerque. Oh, man. The deals to get in Albuquerque are f fucking awful. Oh, man, are they hot trash. You'll be looking at that and they'll be like, whoa, I can't believe my eyes. Right. I was like, what are we doing? Oh. Right. We got to fix all this. 
This is all fucked up. So I think I was just going to redraw this all with black at this point. So I think that's good. It's just we have to redraw all of this in black. What is with this? Why is it doing that now? It's because of spacing? We'll put spacing zero. No. We'll put the spacing higher. Why is it kicking in so late? Uh Well, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe if I change the, uh, the port. I think I had this in 3.0. See if that helps it. Nope. Scare baba da do. Scare da 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 da. Ba na ba 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 ba. Scare da 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 ba ya ba ya ba la 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 ya ya ya. Scare ya 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 ya. Scare ya ba ba ba. Scare ba da ba ya ba 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 ba. Ba ya ba ya ba ba ya ba ba. Almost sounds like Earthbound music. Almost. Yeah, I don't know why my mouse is freaking out. Or my uh, Wacom tablet. So I'm just going to use my mouse. Make this easier. Faster. I wonder why I'm seeing it like that, because I'm thinking of um, pilot wings. That's a good song. Maybe I should put that on next, maybe. Or maybe I'll just die. But one's easier than the other. And that's music. A sky, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 la, 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 la. Scala, bop, 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 bop,
What's it doing? Is this that game Five Nights at Freddy's soundtrack? Oh man, I've heard so much about this game. Now this is happening. I never did look at the feathering option. I wasn't even home this weekend. I wasn't even planning on it. It just ended up being that way. Gotta say, I'm gonna be sad, but a little excited that this Daytona car is gonna be over with. I, mean, I wanna work on other projects. Once I'm done with this. Smaxophones. I love me a good old smaxophone, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get them high bars in, them low sounds in, get those sweet sensual sexual lips sucking. Oh yeah. Fun fact, did you know jazz was really called jizz? There's a reason it's called jizz in Star Wars, it's like it's jazz. Oh. Jazz was originally jizz, and then it slowly devolved into jazz. I'm not sure how. I forget how it even did. That's all I remember. Uh, my professor taught me in college is that jazz originated from the word jizz. I forget how they put the A in there. I don't know. It was like jizz. It might have been like, uh, it was like a couple words, and then like it's, it turned into, it was a couple, I think it was like two words. It devolved into the word jizz, and then I'm sure someone was like, well, that sounds too much like the actual thing. What if we just, I don't know, call it, uh, how about jazz? Hmm. Well, I think you're onto something. Well, I like the name jazz. Sounds, ascent. it sounds, uh, it sounds, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
It sounds exotic. I like it. We'll name it Jazz from here on out. Thank you. Speaking of jizz, hear this song. This is a game I have to play too, Zero Ranger. It's like so many games I own, I just don't play. Just now I'm just burning myself out on gaming, which is good. It just makes me want to work on more art instead. It's bad though, because I just had this gigantic catalog of fucking games I want to play. At this rate, uh, how the way I've been living my life when playing games, it's like... I think I'm fine with just um, buying games and never play them and just support the developers. I understand what developers are getting from. It's like, oh man, no one got these achievements and hardly any people are playing my game. It's like, yeah, but when you're getting to a time era where like literally you have to make so much time for every single game, especially when you have like AAA games taking up fucking 90 hours a week. It's like, goodness gracious. It's like, I'd like to play your game, but man, all these games need so much attention. If only you can make more time in your life to play more games. And there's an easy way to do it. Call an employment. You should apply today. And scam the, the government of all its money. I don't know how people do that. I really don't. It's like, where I live, COVID hit. A lot of people lost their jobs. But man, when COVID was over, all those people never came back. It's like, where did they all go? How, like, what are they even doing? They can't be living off the government forever, right? I don't know. Weird stuff, I'm telling you. I think it was the reptiles. I think the reptiles found them and licked them. Didn't eat them. They licked them. Like, Grim <laughs> Adventures Billy Mandy. What? I'm Dracula. I don't suck. I scrape and lick. <laughs> No, I scrape and lick. Good old Dracula, man. It is really funny how like I got the job of uh, Grim from the Adventure of the Mandy. It's like, how, what'd you do to get the job? I don't know. I just came in, wanted to do something weird because everyone's like doing like this deep, low grungy voice. So what if I just do something different? I just made like slightly Jamaican. Everyone, <laughs> everyone in the boardroom was like, you know what? You're hired. We like that. It's different. So, hey, that's how you get the job. Just do something different sometimes. We get 9 million people doing the exact same voice. You want to go for the, the one guy that sounds different. How it works sometimes. I need, oops. I need to actually play this game on stream. That's what it can. It's a fun game. Oh man. That coffee made me fucking de dehydrated. Woo! Tell you what, though, I had a, I had a dance appointment this morning because I had to get my, uh, uh, I had to get a filling. And man, I had drank a little too much coffee before I went in because I had to go to the bathroom so bad. It's like, oh, this is a mistake. I had to go to the bathroom so flipping bad. I was like, dude, this sucks.
Man, I gotta say though, you know what game's not easy? Freaking Cannibal Crossing. That game is so flipping hard. There's like only one way to play it and it sucks. Make sure you get this upgrade and then get this upgrade. That way your health doesn't always degrade and you have to be running on freaking 30% health like for the entire game. It's like, ugh. Cannibal Crossing is so flipping hard. I hate it. It's not as fun as um, Death Road to Canada. Death Road to Canada is just like arcadey fun. It's goofy. It's hard, but it's like, man, that game's just fun. Animal Crossing is just tough. It's like, ugh. It's one of those things, too. It's like, I get it. You don't want to make a game too easy. But when your game is just like, the difficulty ramps up so hard. It's like, you need to balance it out so that people aren't just like frustrated 24%, 24-7. It's like, oh, well, they haven't figured out the optimal way to play. <laughs> they should learn just like I am. It's like, you know what? I hate that mentality. Because you know what it sounds like? Mike Z. What a fucking piece of shit Mike Z is. Mike Z sucked ass. You know who Mike Z is? Mike Z is? He's the guy who made Skullgirls. What was his biggest problem? Hey, Mike Z. This Skullgirls is cool and all, but can I have a move list? No. Well, why can't I have a move list? Well, I, I know all the moves. Just figuring them out. That's not fair. Why can't I have a move list? Just figure it out. What are we playing? SF2 back in the arcades? Suck my dick. I just want to play your game. Don't be, a, don't be a freaking prick and lord it all over. Don't be a prick and lord it over everyone. Being like, ha, ha, I know the moves. You don't. Ha, ha. It's like, yeah, of course you know the moves. That's what your game's. Yeah. Like, I remember someone brought that up. I think it was my, my brother. He brought that up. He was like, yeah, remember when that happened? He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Skull Rolls when it launched had no move list. And you know what? It was a lot like Indivisible. Indivisible is the exact same way, and it sucks ass in that aspect. It's like, what's the moves? Ah, uh, just figure them out. Thanks, Mike. Glad that piece of shit's gone. Not in Lab Zero anymore. The only thing he did was make a good storyboard and concept. He didn't even make the art. That was uh, all um, Kino Cakes. That was all Kino Cakes and uh, uh, Alex Ahad. Good artist. They made Skullgirls come alive. They had the art. Mike Z did not. Without them, I don't think Skullgirls would have looked as pretty as it was if it wasn't for Kino Cakes and Alex Ahad. I believe Alex A. had the corners too, I think. No, no. He might just draw like erotic stuff. I don't, maybe it's like nothing that's like not safe for works type of thing. But I know they hired Zone Tan for a little bit of stuff. I don't know if that's the thing too. I know Zone Tan's a porn artist, but it's like I don't know what she or uh, sorry, what he worked on. I don't know if he like made like background characters or like backgrounds or something. Cause I don't I'm pretty sure he didn't work on like on the the main characters themselves. So I don't, I'm not sure exactly what um, Zone Tan did for Skullgirls. He is credited in the game. Again, what he did, I don't know. I really don't. Because it's one of those things I think he's labeled as like additional artists. And just a Zone Tan. And again, that can mean anything. As additional artists. Like, yeah, you can be additional artists on the main team making the characters. Or you can be additional artists on the background characters it's like okay so which one did you do and this is newer of mario brothers yeah uh ah my thumb koji kondo which one's this oh it's got it so it's sonic and this is like one of the stages just remaking the song gotcha I was like, huh? Sonic? Oh. It's pretty good. Oh god, I'm just so horny. Talking about all these porns! Oh. Damn it, Gold Bloom. I want my 50 prawns and I want them now. Gimme, gimme. Classic reference. 
Ho, 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 ho. If you don't know that reference, ho, 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 ho. don't worry, I'm just old. Ho, ho, ho. What song is this? It's Persona, yeah? Ah, Arena. I was like, which one is this one? You can tell it's a Persona song. Alright. Oh, Persona's okay. If only I could play it longer. Just can't. Any RPG that goes over 100 hours, I just start losing so much interest. I'm on Persona 5. The second, I swear, the second that 100 hours hit on Persona 5, I was tapping out. I'm like, dude, I got, I just need to beat this game. I don't care. It's getting, it's taking too long. The grinding's all the same. Fuck. That game, I couldn't, couldn't handle much longer. Nothing wrong with Persona. It's just that Persona fans are dorks. You need to play Persona! Oh my god, it's so cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta say, I think the go I think the craziest one was probably Persona 3. I never played it, but the the concept of shooting yourself in the head to make your stand come out is pretty cool. How do you get your stand out? Suicide up! Wow. What a OG. Winter back a break. Up. I started my friends. Uh
Lost my thought process. I was talking to my friends, and that's the end of the story, man. It was cool. I got to talk with them. I was like, wow. I haven't talked to you guys in two hours. I can't believe I'm talking with you again. Holy schmoly. They said, yeah. That was it. I was like, wow. Today, today is cool. I looked at the camera like I was iced tea. And I said, today's going to be a good day. He's like, he's such a loser for that. I will say iced tea. It's like, yeah, you're going to use your one song 97 times in each fucking movie. Hey, do you want to say your quote? Yeah, today's going to be a good day. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. No one cares about that one song you made. Eh? It's been 87 years. Who are you, Grandpa? See, I think we're nearly done outlining it. It's just we have to fix some of the insides and then that should be good. We'll copy and paste it. Before we do that, I need to look up how to take out the auto feathering option when cutting something because I really hate that. Because once we copy this over, it will look like horrid trash on the other sides. Okay, see, the song reminds me a lot of uh, Pocket Socket Fighter! I'm freaking Yakuza. I gotta say, that minigame was a pain in the ass, man. Pocket Circuit Fighter, holy shit, was that a pain in the ass in Yakuza 0. Oh. You gotta make the perfect illegal car and make sure that you don't fall over at every freaking edge. It's like, are you serious, man? That minigame was a pain in the ass. This song, I recognize it off the top of my head. Oh, I say, yeah, okay. Kind of got the vibe. I'm like, is this no more heroes? Yeah. It's that, um, like that weird, like, small bass rumble in the background. That's what kind of gave it away. Which boss is this, though? Is this is a space one. Oh, it was Dr. Let's Shake. Okay. I thought it would have been uh, the Russian space astronaut. Mayday! Mayday! I am crash landing onto, a, onto an unknown land. Life form sighted. It is American? What the hell is this I'm looking at? Oh, no more heroes. So cool. But man, the gameplay gets worse every game. No more heroes 3 sucks. 
I love the story building No More Heroes 3. I love it so much. It's so cool. But man, No More Heroes 3 just sucks to play. It doesn't even give me a star on, on Travis Strikes Back. Oh, that game's just hot garbage. It's weird that it's like the DLC is just, just a sequel to freaking, um, what's that game? Um, with the boner gun. Uh, I forget what it is. It's like something Garcia is the main character. Shadows of the Damned? Is that what it is? I'm really trying to think. What was that game called? I think it might have been Shadows of the Damned. That might actually just be a horror game. Something about the word damned sounds about right to me. Man, I remember seeing gameplay of that game again. Because I, I played it and I beat it. And it's like, man, looking at the gameplay, it's like, this game was weird. What was this? Like, your girlfriend gets captured? And you have to save her or something like that? Like, that's not even the weird part. It's just, like, everything within it. It's like, you gotta... It's like, man, there's, like, these puzzle doors you have to open, and they're giant baby heads, and you gotta feed them strawberries so their faces explode to pass through. And it's like, huh? What's, what's, ha what's happening? Did I blink? It's like, no. It's a weird game. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense thinking about that and saying it out loud. Yeah, No More Heroes, uh, Travis Strikes Back plays a lot. Like some of those smaller things in Shadows of the Damned. I look it up. Is it actually called Shadows of the Damned? I don't even remember. Minecraft. Uh, let's see. Of the Damned. Yep. Nailed it. Shadows of the Damned. I remember. thought that name was familiar. I was like, I feel like it's called Shadows of the Damned. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was a weird game. Alright, that's all fixed. Uh! Alright, so let's look this up. You guys aren't going to be able to see my screen, so I'm going to change that right now. Uh... I assume it would be that. How to turn off all the gimp feathering. That might help. No, no, Yeek. That's good music. Come in here like Bob Ross. All right. Does the thing. Uh-huh. This is... Maybe the option's still there. Because I don't think this is GIMP 2 up top, does it? No. So some tool options, eh? So how do you find that? Wait a second, because he just changes straight to it. Oh, that doesn't help. He just has it open the whole time. Okay. Um. No. Here. There we go. Oh, I can't. Why can't I turn that off? Why is anti-alien seeing just constantly on? Hmm. Uh, you can just help me back here. Actually, don't help me back. Is 
using the foreground color, which we can see here happens to be black. Now, don't let that confuse you. We chose the background color by choosing the foreground color of these two swabs here. Choosing the rectangle select tool, we come down here, click onto fit, and actually choose the size. And then we can change this to 150, and likewise this to 150. This gives me a fixed size selection area, which I'm now going to use here. I'm going to press delete on the keyboard, hmm. and then I'm going to Neat. press shift control A, which will actually get rid of the marching ants around this particular area here. Now feather the selection. Click here and move this up to 100. With this new selection, press delete and actually remove the marching ants. Now look at the difference. You can see, see with this one, it doesn't help me because that's like if you're taking out edge, something, it auto feather it, which makes sense. Use that as like a racing tool, so that, that's that pretty smart. A sharp edge. Whereas with this one, but see in the middle, it's white. It doesn't help me because what I'm looking for is how to take away the feather edging until eventually when cutting and pasting. This one is clearly being feathered. Let's now reduce the feathering and then go through the same process of selecting the region same it and removing the marching ants. We can clearly see feather will now marching ants. And here you can see there is no feather mark. Select up here and introduce some feathering. Do a draw here, I delete and remove feathering. Choosing the free select tool, we'll draw a shape here and then press delete and remove the marching ants. And we can see we get some fe feathering, the lips of the feather, and in simply draw on the screen with here. I'll now come to select, go to feather, and into this region. Where is it? There's no feather option. It's not there. All right, so what if I do this? Let's practice for now. Yeek music, come back on. Oh, I was like, what's happening? No? I see you're messaging something. Sorry, sir, I cannot see. Why is this not working? I was wondering, like, man, no one's in the chat. What is the floor on this car? I'm sorry, I missed all your messages. It, hold on, freaking something's not working on my chat. How hard did it get copyrighted? Uh, I haven't checked yet, though. So hold on, let me get to your questions one by one, really soon, because obviously this whole feathering technique is not actually helping out. Um, I'm just gonna have to mess around, see how everything works. So, I'm flying around everywhere. What am I looking at? Right, this is the screen. I'm gonna put this. I don't no, I don't want to look at chat. That's not what I'm looking for. I want to change the window back to the T call Hornet car and then look back at this screen real quick. Figure out why chat isn't working on my side. Uh there it okay, it just wasn't working. Will it work this time now? Oh there we go, now it's working. That was weird. I was like, man. Okay. All right. So let me get to your questions first, uh, Kodagi. Let's see. What is the lore on this car? It's a Daytona car. Go fast. That is the lore. How many pencils would you eat if a crowd of people said no balls? How many pencils? I'd probably just eat the one. Uh, I probably would just only eat the one. Uh, when we make Mario Brothers 3 art, uh, funny enough, I'm actually working on something like that. Uh, Cannibal Crossing. Yeah, Cannibal Crossing is hard. Not a good game. Yeah. How hard are the these streams copyrighted? I don't know. I don't know. You're wondering what if something was wrong. Uh, I don't know what that could have been. It could have been the many issues that's happened before this, or why I wasn't answering chat. Uh, it really depends. Hopefully chat's working now on my side. Cause it was obviously working on the stream. It just was not like loading up properly on my side for whatever reason. That and I'm also gonna There we go. Yeah, I don't know why chat wasn't working on my side. But yeah, I have no idea how hard these streams get copyrighted. I don't think a single one's got copyrighted because all these are video game songs. Um 
That's why I'm trying to avoid like anything that's like real, real music. So like nothing from Burnout Three I can't use, unfortunately, because those are all real songs. Um, either or, even if they do get copyrighted, it doesn't like really matter. Uh, it's not like I'm getting paid to do any of these streams. So even if they do copyright, then whatever. It's not like I'm losing money anyways. But yeah, let's figure this out real quick. How to take out this like feathering option when I cut and paste? Because this shit's annoying. Ah, here we go. TG combo. Let's go. All right. What if I do that? But it hit zero percent rounded rectangle. Yeah. Okay, I think that was the, the problem. It was like trying to round the rectangle. All right. Hopefully that works. We'll see what happens later when I uh, rotate it. Because it seems like rotating it also screws it up. So that might be another option we'll have to go through. Either way, uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. Close fist. Take notice. There's a code. It's a bad smell. It's in the face of the foes list. Uh, let's see. I need to look at the Daytona cars. Back to rise, I'm back to flow. Fly, so I'm back to flow. As the truth be told, I feel no fire on my passion close. But yeah, I do find that funny how you say that. It's like, oh, you should make some Mario 3 art. It's like, I'm kind of working on something like that. So I know the screen is small for you. Can't really see what Gallup Racing says, but we're gonna fix that real quick. Cause this is the model viewer I'm looking at for the Daytona car. Move my fist and I count a punch. Oop. Wrong thing. So I gotta do is that. Back to flow. Back to soul. So there isn't a whole lot of shading on the the words hornet in high class, but just a little bit. So I wonder what happens if I would do this. I'm back to fly, I'm back to soul, I'm back to war. I feel no fucking woman passion close. So let's see. Let's try to find a good one. Maybe right here. We're going to tap it. Hmm. See, that's going to be the hard part. Oops. Don't save. So we're going to have to freestyle it. Charging the frenzy. I'm with the sweet lions. I'm gonna rumble in the dome with the street lions. Yeah, I'm a legend, a street giant. Let me fool, keep trying. Uh, Iron Galaxy. They know what's up. To flow, I'm back to fly. I'm back to soul. I'm back to run. That's the truth. I feel no fire on the passion flows. But yeah, I really think if I was to like, dare to eat pencils, I think I probably don't eat one. It really depends too. Is it like a mechanical pencil or like a wooden pencil? If it was a wooden pencil, I think I might only eat one. I think if it was plastic, I, I don't know why I'd be willing to eat more plastic than wood. I'm not sure what's up with that. I think I'd probably eat, like, two mechanical pencils. Maybe because, like, it depends. Okay. If I'm eating a wood pencil, there's going to be lead in it, obviously. That's a given. But if I was to eat a mechanical pencil, would the lead still be there? Or would we have to add in lead in the mechanical pencil if I had to eat it?
Because I think that's what I'm thinking. It's like, hmm, maybe that's why I probably eat plastic. Because then it's like, I can eat it without the lead and technically cheat. Can I do a gradient? I know this is going to fuck up. Actually, not really. Sort of. That's not what I wanted. Uh, but it replaces the whole green color. Dang it. I'm back to war. The truth be told, I fear no power when the passion flows. I'm back to war. Let the truth be told, I fear no power when the passion flows. I erase everything and I was like, dang it, so I can't do that. Oh, stop. Can you select the whole thing by shape and then go over the bottom of it with a low hardness brush? Um, so what, what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing free select and just going around the letters and using the airbrush tool. So I don't have to worry about like getting the lines over like the other parts of the word. Because if I just select the whole thing with a big square, then I have to worry about erasing all the insides again. Of like where like there's there's nothing, no color was like. Between the H's, the I's, and G's, like I don't want to go through all that again. It just took me a while just to clean all this up. So I'm just going around the words that way I can just make this faster and safer. Hopefully, so then I have to. I didn't think about this O. The letter O. The letter O for O, oh, brother. Not this shit again. I look at this and I go, God, motherfucking damn. Damn. Can't do that. Hmm. Nope. Now you race. If I just... Try to fix that as best I can. And then we're going to airbrush it over again. Hopefully that'll work. C to the O to the M B O O C to the O to the M B O. Oh gosh, dang it! I want the color black. Why is it that? <laughs> I didn't want to hit that. Mm. Hitting all the wrong things. Waste. Wasting my times. Uh, with all this stress, I deserve a story time. So once upon a time, I died, and it was the end of that. It's pretty crazy. Uh, no, I was actually with my friends the other day, and I was watching uh, the old Disney movie Atl Atlantis. Because I literally haven't seen that movie in about, like, 14 years or something like that. It was a crazy long time. But, um, regardless, it's crazy how I don't see any fan art of, uh, the Atlantean chick in that movie. Because I think her design is, like, way cooler than Chell from, um, El Dorado. It's like, man, everyone draws her, but it's like, no one draws the Atlantis woman. She, I think her design's a lot cooler. Then again, the Eldorado's not a, um, what's it called? Also, I realized why this is probably screwed me up, because I'm not using my content for this one. Um, Eldorado's not by Disney. That's DreamWorks. Just a pretty good movie.
Yeah, I don't think airbrushing it in. Well, it might be the way. Maybe if I'm maybe I'm just using the wrong brush the whole time. Ah. Piece of my tooth. Stuck in my teeth. My teeth are rotting outside my head. Someone help me. Somebody save me. No, yeah, I actually went to the dentist this morning. I had to get my tooth filled in. Remember, brush your teeth. Otherwise, your teeth will rot inside your head. There we go. Yeah, using the uh, softer paintbrush for this was probably the better call. Instead of using the... Uh, the hard one. But, uh... Speaking of teeth rotting outside your head, I actually had that. It happened to me. It makes me glad that I went to the dentist. Uh, so I had to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. And it wasn't anything serious. It was something usual, you know. Like, what is it? It's like 95% of people had to get their wisdom teeth pulled out. And my dad kept telling me, he's like, oh, I think it's like a lie, you know. Like, oh, they keep telling me, like, you have to get it taken out. And it's like... I'm glad he was wrong in my case, because, man, if I didn't do that, um, I would have had some serious problems with my jaw later on. Because they pulled out my wisdom teeth, and they were literally rotting from the inside out. Because they, my wisdom teeth, never, they never um, broke surface. So they never actually appeared, like, outside of my gums. They were just always stuck in there, because they were actually impacting my teeth. And it's like, yeah, they never broke surface, so, like, nothing, I couldn't brush them, but nothing was ever hitting them. But for some reason, just because they were in there for so many years that they just started rotting inside out. Because I remember they were just like complete, not completely black, but like a good chunk of it was just black. I was like, ah, that's not good. But I got that taken care of. Uh, that was that was pretty worrying, honestly, having a <laughs> rotting teeth inside your head. So you brush your teeth. And make sure to floss. There's an art to brushing. I was never taught that until like I was 22. I was like, oh. I'm supposed to do it this way? Hmm. One of those things no one ever teaches you because no because you don't ever think to ask of it, so I mean it's also part of the problem too. Never bothered to ask, so you never think of the other question. But yeah, I have a big thing of Mario artwork I'm working on. It's not exactly Mario Brothers 3. It's going off the old manga style of uh, Super Mario World. It's by, um, I forget the guy's name. It's in my book. It's, uh, if you ever look up comics of like Mario vs. Wario, it's like, like the oldest like 80s Japanese art style you've ever seen. That's the official stuff. And... I'm trying to make a style. It's not one to one, but it's, I'm trying to make it look pretty like closer to that because I think that art style actually fits um, Mario Brothers uh, a whole lot. That and I like it because they they're they're more likely to go off model to make more faces and everything, which I do appreciate. Because Nintendo's too much of a coward to make Mario more expressive. Nintendo, you coward! Stop being a coward! Ah, dang it. So I can only go across about two here. Do I go down to here because the L's in the way. I'm gonna go back, go up high. I should be able to cut across like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Easy peasy. Let's fill this in. Should be good, and hopefully copying and pasting and rotating it won't ruin it. Hopefully. Wait, I'm pretty sure you are here earlier just because I couldn't read chat. 
on my side. I'm sure you heard me ramble on about Mike Z. Such a piece of shit. He was even terrible in interviews. Like, from what I was told, like, years later, because he was, like, on a podcast that I like, and it's, like, they talked about it years later. It's, like, I think someone asked, like, who was, like, not a good guest? And for one of them, he was, like, you know what? Mike Z wasn't that good. He's, like, I don't The other guy was, like, I don't know. Mike Z's pretty, you know, he wasn't that bad of a guest. He's, like, I don't like him because he was completely fake. He would have a conversation with us before the, before the podcast started, and it sounded just, like, Normal FGC talk, like talking shit, talking smack, like ha ha ha, you know, joking around, blah blah blah, doing like commentary stuff. You'd find out like Evo, Smash, whatever. And the second like the camera's about to roll, he's like, "Hey, can you like, uh, can we like uh, not use this uh, and act like professionally and all this and like you know, uh, I, I gotta make a clean image." It's like, for what? You're an indie guy. You're not like, you're not like freaking an epic or anything. It, it was weird. It's like... That and again, the whole, like... No, you don't get a moveset. Only I get a moveset. It's like, that's so... That's so fucking scummy, man. No, only I get a moveset. <laughs> Are you going back to the pencil eating? If pencils were 40% softer? Have you ever found those uh, flexible pencils? Like, you can actually like, bend them slightly? Are you talking about like those ones, like the the flexible pencils and everything? I don't know. What would that even taste like? Cause it's not like I've I never had one. I held one. I never had one. Um I wonder how much like poison that would taste like. I'd I'd probably do it. Why not? I'd I'd probably try it. If it chips my tooth, then I'm I'm running away instantly. If my if my tooth chips while eating a pencil, I'm I'm running straight away like fuck this challenge. I gotta go fix my teeth instantly. See you guys later. <laughs> my my tooth's all fucked up. Thanks. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, I forgot to fill in this line. Oops. Gotta fill this in. There we go. Alright. I think this is good to go. Now we're gonna figure out if we can take out this auto, auto feathering option, because that's a big problem. Then I think we're just going to erase this, because it's just in our way. But what we could do is... We're going to cut the Hornet High Class out. And we're going to put it back on layer 1. Dang it. It's on the wrong layer now. Dang it. There we go. Alright, we're gonna paste it up there. So then when we hopefully when we copy this over, it'll all still look fine. Okay. Alright, select. Rounded rectangle. Good, that's off. Alright, uh... Here we go. So it has to be active. Zero. We don't want other any feathering off uh, happening, because that's what screws it up every single time. And then we're going to hit rotate. We're going to do the exact same thing again, just in case. Alright, that's off. Uh, I think that's good. Alright. Select. And select again. Distort. Smooth. We're going to turn smoothing off. Put to one. Well, that's as good as we'll get with that. Did that screw it up? Can't tell. 
I need to zoom in. Uh, more, more, more. Right, let's see. That did screw it up. All right, so what other option am I missing in the rotate option? Let's click on it. This feathering is off. Sharpen, maybe? Pencils taste like the shell of a nut, like a peanut? Not the taste I'd expect at all. Turn around and rectangle up to 100%. What happens if I do that? No, because that still smoothens it. What is causing that flipping option? It's pissing me off! Hmm. Is it that? Is it interpolation? Just because it's. I wonder if his interpolation was on. So let's see if that helps. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's because interpolation was on. Okay. Figured it out. I was like, dude, something's causing it to always lose its, um, always become rounded. I hate it. All right. I'm just going to overlap this. Turn on a guide just in case. It's a little too high. Right there. Right? Oh, it's way too far up. Okay, so that's what we need to guide. So this needs to go back here. So that's weird. Uh, let's rotate that again. We're gonna have to like rotate it just like a sh whoa. Like that. I'm gonna rotate this way just a little bit. Something like that might work. All right, let's get rid of the one behind it. See how this looks. It's the same basic fiber. Oh, weird. Uh, you should watch Guptill. I thought his name was Guptail. I, I feel like I've heard of him. Didn't he make like that workout video where he's doing like 500 push-ups or whatever it was? I feel like I've heard of that guy. Unless Guptail's a totally different person. All right. There we go. That's good. And we're just going to copy this over one more time. Negative 90 degrees. Oh, not rotate. Oops. Uh, did I post it in the wrong layer? I think I did. I did. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, rotate, rotate, rotate.
rotate it right there. Because it sits right on the back, don't it? Yep, just like that. Looks like we scaled up just a little bit, but I think I'm fine with just leaving it like that. Sweet. All right. Nearly done. It's just the uh, number 41 and Gallop Racing, and that's really it. Nearly done with this car. What I don't get is on Gallop Racing, there's like this, like underneath the A to the O, to the P to the G. A-L-L-O. Is it all this like black lettering underneath it? I think there's put like trying to go for shading, but I don't know. Cause it doesn't look like shading right there. It looks like they fucked up. Like unless they did like a double shading on accident, just on those letters. I don't. I'm not sure what happened there. It looks like a mistake. I don't know what they did there. Hmm. Oh him. <laughs> right. Man, they should all go to hot chick heaven. Right, that guy. <laughs> uh, that guy was funny. Blaze is really cool. She's got fire powers. You can play in the Himalayas for hours. <laughs> I had to watch him because I heard one guy reference him. Like, okay, that sounds pretty funny. And then I saw someone else. Like, he just like did a same thing. Actually, he did like a reaction to it. I was like, <laughs> like God, this video is as stupid as it sounds. It's great. <laughs> Hot chick heaven. I think that line will always get me. You can play the Himalayas for hours. <laughs> it's like, what? It's so funny. Let's see. All right. It's like I'm sitting here too long thinking about nothing, so I'm just gonna have to work on this logo. So gallop racing, eh? Ah. Ah. I can feel that. Like more parts of my. I think it's parts of the filling they're just falling apart in my teeth. That was like literally tooth chips they just missed on accident. Yeah. There's little chips of bone everywhere in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to find that sound effect. The, this one. I need to find that sound effect somewhere. It's so it's such a weird one. But I hear it like everywhere. Like not just like Nintendo songs, like some other companies use it too. It's like what is that sound effect? I don't know. I like it though. <laughs> Sounds like a high pitched Goron from uh Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Let's see. I should do actually is put it back here. Oh what? Oh actually, uh, is there a good shot on the background of this? Oh, is that what that line's supposed to be? It's not. Oh, it's supposed to be a checkered flag. Oh, I can kind of see it now. Oh okay. God. Keep looking at that comment now. I can't stop thinking of that stupid line. Just the fact he calls it that. Hot chick heaven. So stupid. OK. 
Okay, so I'm going to erase most of this because we don't need the rest of this car now. So we just need this back part. God, SF6 looks so good. I'm really excited. Although I'm pretty sure we won't see Abigail again, except as a mini boss in story mode. Which is very unfortunate. I like that because it was really cool. They made him way cooler, actually. Cut this, paste this. We're gonna put back our this. We're gonna. Dang it! Come on. This over here. Put back our guide. We're gonna. S That's fine. We can save it, but we're gonna scale it. So we're gonna mess with the scale a whole lot. Oh, sorry, not the scale. We're gonna mess with the. Uh, we're gonna transform it. There we go. Listen to Mario Land 3. I keep thinking about that game. It's like, man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the game after all these years. It's like, I loved it with the Burning Passion. That was the only game I beat without a guide. It took me years and years and years because I was a kid. My, my mental mapping fucking sucked. Complete ass. And, um, I loved the game as a kid, but going back to it, it's like, it definitely lacks the speed that Wario Land 4 has and Shake It, but the problem is, is I don't like the other Wario Land games. So I think the experimentalness of Wario Land was, of 3 was perfect. It's like, it had all these weird gimmicks, you had like all these different things to go through, different trials, and like, my experience with Wario Land 4, it feels like they try to dumb it down, so it's like, oh, don't worry, you don't have to go through the whole zombie phase again or get through, like, invisible door or have to be invisible to get through doors that see you or uh, turn into this, turn into a vampire. And it's like, it it felt like they were trying to make the levels more faster, but it's like, I really think the experimentalness of Wireland 3 was perfect. It was like, I think it only might have been the one boss. I can't think of the other bosses where it's like, oh, 
you have a boss that's literally just playing freaking uh, whack the mole. You have to guess which hole it's gonna come out of, and the other one's like, Lily, play basketball with a rabbit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Space Jam reference. <laughs> it's a wearing a basketball uniform too, but it's like, it's so weird and different. I think I like that, and I think honestly, how you beat the final boss in four is the exact same way as you beat the final boss in three. I believe. I think you just grab stuff and throw it at its face. With three D clan, it was grab his floating hands and throw his own fist back at his nose. But um, I don't know. I think the experimentalness in three was really good. It just lacks a lot of things that four has. It's it's, it's a weird spot for me. Warrior Land's a weird spot. I don't know how I feel about that series. I do like it a lot, but I just don't know how I feel about it. Like, what should like be like the major fix to it? Because I definitely didn't like shake it all that much. The whole it was a turnoff for a lot of people from way here. The whole like, oh, you have to shake the ground to uh, do anything. Like, yeah, but it does have that speed running aspect, which everyone likes, which is the uh, whole. Uh, which I think is a good idea, too, which is uh, beat the level and then run back to the entrance, which I think is good, but I don't think every level needs that, you know? And I think Wildland 3 could have easily gotten away with that since each level you had to go back through four times to get every treasure. I think they could have done a whole lot with that game. It's just they didn't think of it at the time because that game was coming out straight from Wildland 2. So that's what I'm saying. It's like... I like Wario Land 3 still. It's just like, I don't know how to feel about it. Because it feels like it's missing a whole lot of stuff. But at the same time, it's just like... There's a lot of things I like it for more than just... Um, uh, than... What's it called? Than 4 or... Um, shake It. I I really think fucking Wario Land 7 was the worst one. Which was the Master Disguise. That game just blew ass! That game was just terrible. Like, Nintendo, I can appreciate you for getting experimental, but man, that game just sucked. I hated it. So annoying. You gotta transform every, like, five seconds to get this puzzle, hit this puzzle, hit this puzzle. I don't care. Game's not that fun. It's just giant areas to walk around in and complete puzzles. You can't even run in that game unless you're, like, normal warrior -o. It's like, ugh. That game was just not good. That game was just as bad as Hot Chick Heaven! No. Wario Land, though having some of the hottest babes. Captain Maple? Mm. That's about it. <laughs> it's just the Wario chicks. There's Captain Maple. There's the um, Space Queen from 4. And then there's... The uh, Mona. Which is funny. I find it funny that like people just shipped her and Wario together. And then Nintendo just kind of like made that happen. Like, oh yeah. And then she has a crush on him. It's like, huh? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> so, canon. Wario has his own harem. Mario only has Peach. Wario is a big dick OG. Oh, I'm drawing on this wrong layer. Gosh darn it. It's like if you're not looking. People that are incredibly passionate about incredibly specific games are the best. Are you telling them? I highly not, I assume you're not talking about me. Um, I know there's one guy. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Um... He gets close to that feel for old Wario Land. It is a guy, I forget his name, but he's making a game called uh, Pizza Tower. And that game screams like, hey, I love Wario. You guys want to play this game? And he's doing the same thing where it's like, you go through a level, you beat the level, and then you guys speed run back to the exit. Um, it definitely fixes a lot of problems that um, that I think that Shake It had. Cause Shake, I think Shake It was probably worse than four because like they took away everything so you had no gimmicks it was just basic gameplay of wario doing nothing um but i don't know how that dude's gonna do it with um pizza tower because 
the way it's different is that he wanted to add a whole lot of stuff like like oh the main character was gonna have a shotgun at some point and you can use it kind of like a double jump um he's gonna have a second character in there uh he plays actually different than the other ones it, it's just i don't know how he's gonna implement all this because he says like some of this stuff is like it's good on paper but when he implements it into the game it's not that good so uh, a lot of ideas that were there from the original thing just got scrapped and a lot of things that weren't there in the beginning were now added uh, It's very it's very interesting where that game's gonna uh, land. I don't know how it's gonna end up. I assume it's still gonna be good though uh, That's a game that I'm kind of excited for Just I want to see what the end product is of that I Think it'll be a good sequel to Wario Land 4 which is not my favorite like I said, but um I think it'll be a solid game overall. Peace Tower guy is is doing hard work. I think he was one guy by himself. I think he's got a couple people now. I think he's got like another programmer and an artist with him making the game, I think. I don't believe they have a Patreon, so I think they're just working like out of pocket. I think he might just be paying him out of pocket too. I don't know. Could be speaking straight out my ass, like I tend to do. It's a good old habit of mine of fake it. I sound smart enough, so I'll just keep saying shit, and people will believe me. I think. <laughs> so I'm getting a weird feeling in my stomach. Is it cannibalism, pills, or both? That's what it feels like. Um, but yeah. Because I always keep thinking, it's like, man, I think I would like to make a Wario Land 3 remake. Possibly. But to get into gaming, uh, I need a programmer, definitely. I have no idea what to program. I just know how to, what to write. What to write and what to draw. Um, I think would be interesting for a Wario Land 3 remake is make it, make it to where it's a Wario and Waluigi game. Make it an excuse to where, like, they both go back. And have to make like newer mechanics, new levels, new things, new like fun ways to like explore levels instead of just be like, oh, how do you get this one part? Eh, just catch on fire and break it. Uh, I feel like it'd be a good idea, but how to make everything work smoothly, I think would be the hard part because it might just be adding too much for a too little, um, too little reasoning maybe. I feel like that's what the problem might be, but I think it'd be neat overall cause it's, I don't know it just really depends again it might just be more complicated than it needs to be but who knows there is no Wario and Waluigi game and I think having it as like a Wario Land sequel would be a good idea I have a lot of ideas how to draw all that stuff. It's just, again, that's what these streams are kind of for. It's just so I can stop playing games a whole lot and just keep working on stuff. Because it feels like I'm productive. For once in my life, I'm productive. Wow. Oh, wow. Incredible. This Final Fantasy music. Wow. I know someone was asking me about that the other day, about the Final Fantasy VII Remake, what I thought. Um, I never played the original Final Fantasy game. I never played Final Fantasy VII. I listened to bits and parts of it uh, from what I heard and about the story. It seemed really cool. Uh, going into the remake, I knew for a fact, after like probably like a th halfway through the game, I'm like, yeah, this isn't one-to-one, -one, I can tell. And someone brought up a good theory, like what the story might be. I think it's a good idea. Which is pretty interesting, but it, it does kind of suck that it's titled a remake. It's like, it should be called um, something completely different, which is why the sequels are like, what is it? Final Fantasy VII Part Two is called like, what is it? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I think. So yeah, it's the Final Fantasy VII R series. And yeah, again, going through it about like halfway through the game, I realized it's like, yeah, this game is not... Uh, one to one with the original. Um, I think it's good nonetheless, but um, I do see why some people are like, "Yeah, this game sucks. It's not what it was." It's like, yeah, I, I get that. 
It is weird. It's like Overwatch 2. Wow, it's a sequel. Not really. It's just Overwatch Update 2.0. Are you excited for the release of the Finance of Freddy's audiobook? <laughs> is there actually an audiobook? Which one? Isn't there like three books or something like that? Uh, it sounds like utter chaos and like maybe like a lot of screaming. Maybe. I just could have sworn there's like three books or something like that. Uh, oh, okay. This goes slanted. This is why I have the original artwork to help me out here. This is Advent Children. What song is this? Oh, Genova. If only I could play more RPGs. If only they played more like Final Fantasy VII. The new one. If they played more like... I think if new RPGs played more like Final Fantasy VII, I'd play them. The, the more Western style. I can only handle the same combat for so long. And it brings us back to what I was talking about on uh, Thursday. Uh, about Skyrim. I was like, yeah. Uh, I don't think Skyrim's that good anymore. But, because the combat's not all the same... It's not like sit in the same battle for 24 hours every single time. Uh, I think that's what helps it. it. Helps it for me to play. I I just can't do JRPGs. Turn turn base for too long takes too. It just gets too repetitive. I don't like it. It sucks too. I really wish I could play them because, like, man, I was playing, uh, what's it called? Uh, Octopath. That game was good, but it's like, oh, man. I hit like 80 hours. I'm like, I. I'm like halfway through the game. I can't beat this thing, man. <laughs> it's too much. Uh, that game was way too much for me. Couldn't. I never actually read To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't remember how those movies ever went either. I don't know if they were actually good. Um, I think Final Fantasy would be a good read. Have you seen the... Uh, <laughs> have you seen the Mega 64 version of uh, how Final Fantasy was made? God, that video is so fucking stupid. <laughs> so hilarious. Oh, Decky, you're a genius. Make another one. Make another one. That's it. I give up. They all gave up on magic. They all live underneath a pizza. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> they use rocks. So fun. You've not? Oh, it's so good. Uh, we'll do that. We'll watch, uh, we'll watch Guptail do Hot Chick Heaven, and then I'll put on, I'll just put Mega 64 on, and then we'll watch Hot Chick Heaven as the, uh, as the uh, the last one, that Mega sixty four video is so good. <laughs> it is weird. I thought that was a big joke for the longest time. And it was like, yeah, they all live underneath the pizza. And then I remember watching, listening to the game. I never watched it. Listened to most of it. And then it's like, that's actually lying in the game. Yeah, because they're trying to kill us underneath this motherfucking pizza. It's like, huh? You guys actually just call it a pizza? Why? What do you, why do you guys call it a pizza? Because it's sliced like a pizza pie. I guess so. I think that's like the weirdest line of Final Fantasy VII. It's just calling the, the Mako plates or whatever they are just pizzas. Bye. 
I am interested though. Cause I would like to play Chrono Trigger. It's just um man. I don't know if I could though. That game's not forever long though, which makes me want to give it a shot. Cause I can play Mario RPG. So one, it's a baby's game, but two, also it doesn't take a hundred plus hours. It can't be that long because it's a Super Nintendo. Hey, it's a Super Nintendo. What's the matter with you? God, that line. Ah, uh, that Mario show. That line will transverse history and time. Mario, looks like you got a little bit of spaghetti on your overalls. Well, fuck you, Luigi. You got a little spaghetti sauce on your shirt, as usual. Well, remember, Mario. Our motto is cleanliness is best. Now, what's our motto? Hey, you slob. That's my pizza. Uh, so, God. I love Lil Bono. I wish, if he wasn't dead, I'd shake that man's hand. Is that on Mario voices? I always think of those two. I always think of Lou Albano from the 80s Mario show and uh, and the uh, CDI Mario. Man, I wonder how we're going to get to that tower. If only there was some way to climb up there. Get the hint? Whoa, I wonder what's draining up all this electricity. Oh, it's toasters. You know what they say, all toasters toast toast. Uh, those are the two Mario's I always think of. Like I, it's so weird because like every time someone's like, "Oh, who's Mario's voice?" I'll always say like, "Yeah, it's um, uh, Charles Martinet." But every time I think of Mario's voice, voice, I always just default to those two. I don't know why. I think it's just the way they p sound. It's just perfect. Unlike Chris Pratt. Oh man. Comedy goal! He sounds like a New Yorker! Can't you hear the accent? I know I can't. That was the weirdest thing. Everyone's freaking out about that. I really couldn't tell. I've never met a, a slight New Yorker or a slight Brooklyn accent. Everyone was like, no one can tell the slight Brooklyn accent. It's like, I don't know what that sounds like, man. Well, I'm on the whole other side of the United States. You gotta come to me if I want to hear it. Cause I ain't gonna hear that for Jack. Not over here. I think the weirdest... The only thing I ever met close enough to that thing. Uh, the only... Yeah. Closest things I actually didn't meet the person. Was I saw a license plate from Rhode Islands. Over here in the other side of the country. It's like, ha! Huh, kind of kind of far from home, ain't, ain't you? Yeah. That was the closest thing I ever saw. It's like anything from the other side of the country. I mean, I say thing because it was just a semi-truck. I believe it was a semi-truck. It could have just been a normal truck. Uh, this is interesting how this racing logo works. Because the racing is being faded into red. Which I guess works because the background of the color is also red. Kind of weird why they chose that, but I'm not going to question it. Then I shall just draw out these letters. I was spending too much time like trying to make the letters perfect. was like, got to match the font style. Man, don't get me started on things like black people. No. I'm not even going to touch that subject. Well, I'm not even going to touch it like... <laughs> Touch it like in that approach. That's a terrible way. I just don't get people freaking out about the... the reason I bring that up is the whole Scooby-Doo show that's coming out. I I don't know what it's called. It's it's Velma show, apparently. Um, I don't know what it's even called because I didn't know it existed until like, some lady was getting harassed off of Twitter because she had like a shitty attitude. Um, All I know is Scooby-Doo's not in it. But everyone else is, but... What is it? Velma and Shaggy are black. Velma... Again, I think she's supposed to be Latino. Uh, no, that's a real thing. Uh, Shaggy and Velma are black. 
uh, Daphne looks like a Latino, and Fred just still looks like Fred. Yeah, trust me. I thought that was just like um, that whole thing like I've seen like for years was like, oh, black versions of these characters like Sailor Moon or whatever. It's like okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really have a problem with it. I I particularly don't like it. Like half the time, because it's like it's. I don't know. I think the characters just look just a little weird. But it's like it's not like I find it offensive or anything. It's just uh, what's it called? Yeah, same thing with the Scooby Doo thing. I thought it was the same thing. I thought it was just like a like an edit or something. I was like, oh look at whoop the gang was black. It's like it's like yeah that's that's fine. It's like oh no that's just a thing. Okay. It's just I don't get why people get bent out of shape going, Oh, they're black! Ew! My favorite character's ruined! Utter garbage! It's like, and? What's the big guy? What's, what's the big deal? Like, it's one of those things, I'm sure it's going to be the exact same people screaming up to you. It's like, if they change Cyborg from black to white, I'm sure the same people will be like, yeah, that's a fine change. It's like, I don't know why it needs to be, needed to be done, though. That's what I don't get. Because then I'm pretty sure the exact same people will just be screaming at the sun going, ow! Why is he white now? Ah! It's like, okay. Starting to sound like the, the YouTuber Stinky Blue Rat. Oh yeah, there's this movie coming out. Uh turning red, you know, seems pretty good. And and Oh, it's hideous! Oh, it looks like garbage! I'm turning red! Yeah. That fucking guy. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know, people are making like black ads of characters. Um, I never really, I never really saw like the whole appeal of it. I guess it's like supposed to be help with the whole like, um, what, what would the word be like? Black suppression? It's like, oh, or black oppression? I don't, I don't know the term. I was like, oh, it's just a way so we can get the whole Black Lives Matter thing. I was like, I get it. I think it's just one of those things they don't make the characters look unique enough, which I think the Scooby Doo cast is all right. You know, Shaggy looks, I wouldn't say completely different, but he looks more, he looks different enough to where it's like, yeah, that's a fine design for Shaggy. I haven't seen that take on him. And it's like, oh, that's why, because it's an actual TV show. Because I feel like every time I see a black edit, it's always just two things skin color and hair. They never change anything else. It's like, yeah. That's fine. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the artists I see on Twitter. Maybe there's like better examples, but I just they don't come across my way, so I wouldn't exactly know how many like good edits are out there. <laughs> Look like regular really characters with the paint bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I, there's, there's gotta be like a lot of better examples out there, but they just don't come across my way uh, with the artists I follow. I'm sure there's a whole lot of examples, but it's like, I just wouldn't know. I really wouldn't. I know I've seen like a couple. I was like, yeah, that's not bad. But I, I couldn't name them off the top of my head because, again, I don't see that many uh, good edits. A lot of them are just kind of standard. It's all the same. It's just like, oh, look at. This is my character. And this is the character I edited, and they're black! So, yeah. I'm sure I can do the same thing in Photoshop, but I won't say nothing. Okay, I don't know how well I am... I don't know how well I am supposed to be talking to this subject. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the best equipped to talk about this subject. It's like, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I never really saw the appeal, but I get the whole movement for it. I understand it. 
I just find it weird, the movement. Not like their cause for it. It's just I never I never understood it. Because I wasn't raised in a household be like, ah, I hate black people. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Are they hurting you? No. What do you care? It's like, yeah, that's fine. Skin color shouldn't really be a problem, but that's not in America. Everyone hate. Everyone loves their skin color. Except anyone that's not white. Damn. Then you must be wrong. Gotta love America. Land of the free. Free racism. Ha <laughs> ha. This song's going forever. I'm gonna change it. How long is this song? Why is it 30 minutes? Goodness. I didn't even know this was 30 minutes long. I was like, man, I've been listening to this song for a good minute. Oh. Oops. Yeah, no wonder I was listening to it for a freaking good minute. It's 30 minutes long. Jiminy. No, oh, so is this Doki Doki? Yep. Doki Doki Macho Shin Pan. A lot of Shin Pan music been coming up on these streams. I was supposed to say I should give that game another try, but it's like I won't understand it. <laughs> None of that game's translated. So I probably won't. Oh, I see. Okay, so they go for a lighter one. Makes sense. Gotta make it look like a G. I get it. I think. So G probably goes like to right here because the rest of it's kind of thick because there's not a whole lot of lips to the G. So something like that. Oops. No, I can't do that. So that, that part stays there but everything else is kind of bolded out. But yeah, Atlantis girl, they should draw, people should draw more of her. Oh man, it's that Five Nights at Freddy's music. Oh, I think, yeah, I was like, I think I see the problem, yeah, because the corner of this G goes, like, way up here. I was like, what's wrong here? Ah. Uh, yeah, they made, like, a custom letter G for this one, unless that's just a font. That's a weird font. It's like, it hits, like, a corner of, like, a box, which makes me think it's custom.
Oh, this goes lower. I was like, what's wrong here? Ah. Something like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If I can make this C, it'd be just as good as a Kung Fu Veggie Grip. TJ Combo song. And you don't stop. And you don't stop. C to the O to the MB. Yo, O C to the O to the MB. Yo, O C to the O to the MB. Yo, O C to the O to the MB. Yo. Oh, how far were we on the, the song? Uh, we're 25 minutes in. Show's like only five minutes, but I didn't realize I, I got the 30 minute edition. <laughs> I was like, uh, I thought it was only five. I mean, it's not bad. I was like, I want to listen to some other stuff, please. I like Final Fantasy as much as the next guy, but can I get another song? Ain't a whole lot of variety in that song. The same, like, three, uh, uh, I can't think what they're called. It's not course, courses. Uh, because you have bars, which are what's in between and there's like four bars in a song and you can put either a six to seven to eight tempo beat in it uh honestly the beat can be whatever you want as long as it fits within the four bars uh, i believe it's been a minute since i took since i looked at my jazz papers i still have my my college papers in my closet i'll have to look at them I think jazz class is about the, the neatest thing I ever took. And I think art class was a waste of time. Take it from me, kids. You can learn everything you need to if you have a good art teacher in your high school. Because you know what they'll teach you in college? Not a whole lot. If anything, they'll teach you more just about shading techniques. But honestly, if you ever ask your high school teacher about it, if you ever like, hey, is there like a shading technique you use? It's like, they'll teach you. They know what's up. It's just they don't have time to teach every single kid because every kid's going to either be fast at adapting to art or really slow at adapting to art. So, yeah, it's not that they can get to every question. It's like, if there's ever downtime, you can't figure out a thing. Just ask them. They'll, they'll know.
Let's go. All right. Uh, I think that's good enough for the little logo racing down here. Looks fine. So all we gotta do is do this. Is bucket fill red, bam, bam. Do that, and then we're just in case we're gonna just select it, so we don't get any on like ah dang it. Got the freestyle select it. Just so they don't get any on the um, black outlining logo. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna use the uh, that. I choose to color green. How did I do that? Something like that, because it's like the red almost blends in with the, the yellow. I don't know why. But that's good. I'm just going to fix that one pixel of black. That one damn pixel. Back. There we go. Now that that's done, I guess we can color this in. Uh, okay, fill that point. There we go. Uh, yeah. Then the rest of the letters are just gradient into red. A to the L to the O O P. What's that spell? Galoop. Gotta get that galoop. That was actually almost a perfect curve. So going like that. Do that, curves in. A slanted O. Like, like, like. No. Hmm. Mm, we can work with that. Yeah, it's not going to be perfectly one to one, but I think I'll be okay with that. Won't cry over this spelt milk. I promise. I promise my mommy I wouldn't. I'm a big boy. God damn it. I'm making big boy actions over here. I can do it. Um. Oh, we're going to raise it all up. I was like, what well, looks weird here? Oh. It's too low. The pee's going to clip into everything. My pee is clipping. Someone help me. My pee is clipping. What if you could pee and everything just no clipped? <laughs> I think the problem is, is that the A might be too big. I think. And you don't stop. And you don't stop. Yeah, yeah.
Uh, how high is this gonna reach? Oh, that's gonna fit. This is also a long one too. How long is this one? And we're two thirds done with the song. It's like ten. It's fifteen minutes long. We'll just we'll just move on. Okay, it's SNK. I was like, don't tell me it's another long one. This smells like ain't it? Mm, five. I need to go back to Melsa like Games. It's got a weird thing where it's got like this whole storytelling aspect to it. It's kind of odd. Like, Metal Slug 1 doesn't... Metal Slug 1's like its own little story by itself. Number 2 leads into number 3. Number 3 makes a callback to number 4. And number 4 is also happening at the exact same time as number 5. I believe. And then number 6, I think, might be its own battle. And then 7 is its own battle. I, I believe. I could be wrong. It's been a long minute. Because if I remember correctly, Metal Slug 1 just happens. Metal Slug 2... They find an alien ship, but no one realizes that the commander got abducted by it. Because the mothership comes in and abducts the Morden, and they think they get their own captain back, but it turns out it was just an alien in disguise to spy on them And number three. And then number four, it turns out why the Mars people were trying to invade, because they were trying to escape like super predator aliens that were just eating them outright. And then five, it was just like another part of the country. I think it was like... I don't remember if it was the exact same alien problem, or it was just like, um, like another coup d'etat was just happening at the exact same time, so it just ended up being like a super unfortunate circumstance. I forget, because I remember, I think, like, they kicked General Morton's ass in the beginning of 4, and he's like, wait, I, <laughs> it's like, I'm not really equipped for this, I'm not sure what's going on. They just told me to help him, and then, like, then they, Pedigree Falcons help him, which is the good guys. So yeah, Metal Slug's got like this weird like storytelling to it, which is like not super important, but also not also very apparent if you're just like not paying attention or not really caring. It's kind of weird. And I think I've told this before how like the creator of Metal Slug, he just wanted to make dating games. After he made, like, I think Mel's like three. He's like, yeah, I just want to make dating games, man. <laughs> he and he did so in Mel's like seven, in a way. Because it was, uh, you're a new recruit in the, in the barracks of the Pedigree Falcons, and you have to climb up your way to ranks and each time you do you get into a better relationship with your commanding officer because then you get to a higher rank to where you're the commanding officer because you're ranks because you outrank her and then you're dating so remember if you want to date anyone get a higher rank than them and then uh, they'll, ha they'll be forced to date you in the army that's what Mel's like taught me if it happens to Mel's like it must be true It must be true, goddammit. Real love must exist that they have to date me if I'm higher ranked than them. Is this Smash Brothers Pokemon? Or is it just Pokemon? Uh, uh it's just Pokemon. God, there's a couple of games I want to make in my life before I die. But man, I just have to. I just gotta keep working. Cause, cause I can't make anything right now since I don't have like the main concepts, ide ideas, or anything down. I have to transfer everything over because I realized that I think we we went over this last time. I don't think everything's. I don't think everything I've worked on is not on my computer yet. Which I thought was. 
either or. It's like I have like a lot of stuff on my binders or my uh, drawing books, so I have to like go over them, take pictures and whatnot. I've got good ideas for parodies and a sequel. I just need to talk to people and just draw more concept art. It's just hard because it's like I want to work on a million things, but it's like I gotta work on one thing at a time. I gotta the biggest thing I had to do so far is finish that damn storyboard. For my uh the first series I wanna make. Cause once I get that finished, then I can talk to other people, work on other things. And hopefully they'll like the idea. I don't know if they will. So they're not my IPs. It's their IPs. I just have an idea for what they could do. It's just a big what if, and if they like it at all. That's going to be the hard part. I've never pitched anything, never really pitched anything to anyone, so we'll see how that works out. I think I might make a compelling case. My case is. <gasps> Your game sucks. I can make it better. Give me IP. Give me, give me. And then I'll uh, win. It's pretty easy. And if that doesn't work, time for plan B. Bribe them with money. If that doesn't work, then time for plan C. Sue or die. And if plan C doesn't work, then I've, I've got nothing else. <laughs> I don't know what to do after plan C. It'd be one of those things. Well, we're here. What do we do now? I didn't think we'd get this far. I don't know. Yeah, that works for an elf. How's it going to the... It literally just clips in. Okay. So, yeah, that totally works. As I speaking of, I think it's Warland, huh? Oh, it's Dunk on Country. I feel like an idiot. So I, I think it reminds me of a song from... The intro does. Sounds a lot like Warrior World, I think. I think. Let's see. Just gotta fix this letter P. 
a little bit. I think the letters are done for Gallop. And then I'm just going to make the outline, the inside. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see what the problem is. It looks like it curves up too much. Oh, okay. So like, what's the problem here? Ah. I guess I never really noticed like how like long some of these songs go on. It's been a while since I got into the music track list. Just gonna make the other inside of the O. Smash Brothers. Fix this, this looks a little weird. Probably like that. You know who deserves to be in hot chick heaven? Nine volts, mom, two volt. Oh man! With the way she cleans, she's gotta know some techniques with those hands of hers. Now don't even get me started on her cooking skills. I feel like that, that would be a thing. Why hasn't he done that? Has he has Guptail ever made a uh like a Nintendo version of that? Or is it just like the Sonic Girls? Cause I think it's only Sonic Girls, huh? I think he should have just like stuck with the bit and just like almost like every franchise.
Man, have you ever looked at the chicks in Donkey Kong? Oh, man! The way they swing around from vine to vine just makes me want to climb to their hearts. I don't remember how Guptail says it or, or anything like that, but I feel like that's close. <laughs> It's like the only thing I kind of remember is uh now who has three arcs who has three arcs of hair and wields a giant hammer why it's Amy Rose of course who's got giant pigtails why it's Amy Rose of course I'm just going to refresh chat just in case. Did it break again or no? No, it didn't. Right. Oh. I was talking to the void. <gasps> no! You just missed my bit on Guptails. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I I was just making fun of that. I was just talking about how Guptails talks and everything. Uh, I think I fucked up on this letter P, though. I was just saying, it's like, uh, has Guptails only made that that one video? We're still in the VOD, DW. It's characteristic. Well, I mean, like, has Guptail only made, like, that one video where it's, like, just, uh, Sonic Girls? Or, like, has he made, like, anything else? Oh. Oh, well, thank you. It's just been a while since I've gone to do, like, any actual videos. I have, like, a, sh a huge backlog of videos I just need to edit. I just haven't given the time to because I haven't really found, like, any inspiration to, like, edit anything. Um, that and the editing process is going to get, like, freaking huge. It's, like, not even funny how huge it's going to be. That I need to move this up. What did I just do? Dang it. Because I was supposed to do this. Gosh darn it, me. There we go. It still works, yeah? Yeah. Uh. But I mean, like, has he only done, like, a Sonic Girls video? Or is it, like, any, anything else? Because I was just making fun of, like, uh... Oh, what was it? I was making fun of 9-Volt from WarioWare. What was it? I already forgot the bit. It was, uh... What was it? You know who else deserves to be on this top list? Why, 9-Volt's mom, 2-Volt! Man, the way she cleans, she's gotta know some techniques with those hands of hers, and don't even get me started on her cooking! Like he's it? Like, has he ever done anything else like that, or is it is it really just Sonic Girls? I feel like Hot Chick Heaven could be like done with any franchise. I think it'd be pretty funny. Okay, okay, because I've only seen that one, and this one like everyone defaults to. I'm just gonna fix this P. This P looks really fucked up. Okay, it looks fine on my screen, but when I look on the other screens, it looks completely fucked up. His new reviews are so funny because he's obviously changed as a person, but I can still. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. I really feel like he should just lean into the bit. Like, oh, what was it? Because I was making fun of Donkey Kong. It's like. Have you ever noticed the, the girls from Donkey Kong? Oh, man. The way they swing around from vine to vine makes me want to climb my way right into their hearts. Now let's get on with the list. Also, this song, Catherine. What a good game. Now, Catherine was a good game. That was something special. Mm, 
Monkey girlfriend doesn't count as furry because like they're almost people. Yeah, but would you count Sonic? He's got the human proportions. He's just got the hedgehog bit. That's about it. God damn it. <laughs> that hedgehog made me think of the stupid fucking what's his name? Lumpy touches video. <laughs> oh man, drop my glasses. Sonic Mill, get that shit to me. <laughs> it's, just, it's like horribly made. It's so stupid. That's a dumb video. It's not even that funny, I just like it. Uh, if you don't know who Lumpy Touch is, he's the guy who made the- He was the guy who started the whole, uh, Garfield Eldritch horror thing. He's the one who started that, the whole Game Boy. Game Boy thing. Uh... The song is more closer to being is more closer to being anime than being furry. Is that really a difference? What about like an anime furry? Would, would that really be a big difference? I, I really wouldn't know. I feel like that would all just be classified into the same thing, yeah? It's just a different style. I mean, it's about the same as what's it called? People saying like, oh, anime just means animation in Japan. It's just shortened. I mean like was it French people still use the word anime, but it's just like it's just French anime. So like would it be that big of a difference? It's just like so like, yeah, it's just furry anime. I, I I really wouldn't know. Like I know I'm basically a furry because my stupid profile icon. I I won't follow a furry community, but it's like I don't understand anything that goes on in it. I really don't. Uh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You've got, like, a lot of different, um, degenerate things happening on both sides of the spectrum. Between just, like, normal furry art and then just anime furry art. Yeah. That makes sense. One skews more to a different taste than the other. Yeah. I can, yeah. I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think that'd make much sense until you put it that way. Yeah. I definitely see it. Okay, there. I think the P looks fine now. Right. Dropping everything. Where did my pen? Oh, I put my pen right there. Right. Just paint fill this in. Yellow, 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 yellow. Uh. Yeah, Sally Acorn's very furry. I can believe that. Knuckles cast is on the Dragon Ball type beat. Knuckles cat. Oh, you mean like um, a chaotic? Gotcha. Yeah, I can definitely see that. King Knight, let's go. Yeah. Charming B definitely fits into the anime style. Or oh, wait, no, the Knuckles cast. Wouldn't that be? Well, actually, I don't know, because doesn't it vary from every game? Isn't Knuckles, like, with Rouge and the robot in one of the games? And then it's, like, what, Knuckles? Or not Knuckles, a Shadow of the Robot and, uh, and Rouge. <gasps> yeah, you never do. Sally Acorn and Amy Rose are never in the same room. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you're, like, really looking for it, uh, you'll find them in the same room. <laughs> it's not the way you want them to. Um... Yeah. It really is, huh? You just have like two different things like... Like what? Like Cream and Cheese are two completely different characters than like Sonic. And it's like, man, how are these characters even like the same game? They act so different from one another. I, like, I get what you mean. Yeah, like, characters just have, like, a totally different vibe to them, depending, like, where they are.
do 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 It's going to take a second, so I need to do the G separately than everything else. Uh... Oh, I forgot to switch screens. Oops. Switch to this one. There we go. So it cuts off right there. I feel like I, I feel like I'm not getting your point, but at the same time I'm getting your point. Like I feel like I'm. Like, I feel like I know what you're talking about, but at the same time it's just like I don't know. I feel like I'm not fully grasping the whole concept, but yeah, I believe I get it. So, yeah, they are just very different characters in general. But I mean, I guess, but that's a good thing, right? Because you wouldn't want like every character to feel like the same way because then you just like, get a lot of clashing uh personality well not clashing you just get a lot of um similar personalities it's like yeah no one really feels different here so you want want everything feeling the same Screwing up this lining. Ah, fuck. Hmm. Oh, you make mods for them? Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, what do you do? Like, mod wise, like, do you like just like uh, change like mechanics within the game itself, or do you like actually like just like import like models into like different things or stuff like that? I never actually personally talked to a modder myself. And the only thing I was going to mod was for multiverses, but then it seemed like a big pain in the ass to even try doing that. One, learning 3D modeling, but two, it's just like all the repercussions with it. It's like, it doesn't seem like it's really worth it. Um, you do both? Oh, neat. Are they <gasps> anti? <laughs> Is it like those Overwatch mods? Oh man, give me that 90,000% booty for Tracer. Oh man. Who's ever going to tell unless I stream it? Like the Splatoon Uncensored Challenge. That guy. This is stupid. Splatoon Uncensored. Let's try not getting banned by playing porn on Splatoon. Yeah, that's going to go good. The car can go anywhere for a price. What do you mean? <laughs> what, you want to change this car into something different? You want to make this game like, uh... Oh, what's that game called? Like... Gensu something. I don't remember. It. It's... I see it all the time on the Switch store. It's... Gensu Skydrift? Is that what it's called? Where it's like... It's like a Mario Kart game, but it's like... You're, uh... Your character's like surfboarding. Your character's like surfboarding, like on top of another girl that's like, like a fucking flying rocket. It's like, it's like, what is this game? It's an anime game, but I don't get it. It's kind of goofy looking. I forget what it's called. I think it might be Genso Skydrift or something like that. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Let's see. Genso. Oh, yeah, right. Genso Skydrift. I remember names pretty well. <laughs> Golap. <laughs> Golap top. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen this game? Uh, I'm trying to see, like, what's a good screenshot? You can't really. This one, you kind of tell what's happening. Not really, though. But yeah, you're just like anime girls flying on. fucking surfboarding on other anime girls for whatever reason. <laughs> That one's a pretty goofy game. 
I, I made that joke earlier because I misspelled a gallop. I was like, A to the L to the O O P. What's that spell? A loop. I mean, yeah, with like with this game though, it's like you, what you really could just do is honestly anything. It's like I'm just making this car because I just want to make this car, but it's like if you really wanted to, you can just make a hentai car in the game. No one's gonna stop you. This is this a Sega song? This sounds a lot like the the Shovel Knight music. I wonder if this is where his inspiration came from. Okay, I think that's pretty good. It's gonna have to fix a lot of things. It's good. This is going to be really finicky. Oh, right. So what did I use for this? Right, paintbrush. It's kind of the best way to fix all these. themed car huh a vinegar themed car a eh? you don't think that look like something else no you wouldn't set me up for something like that right no 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 come on to you mr vinegar themed might as well tell me to make a pickle based car Oh man, if I knew modding, you know what car I'd put in this game? I'm like, sure, this is like kind of modifying, but not really. Like, if I can actually like mod a model of the car in the game, you know what I'd put in? The secret taco car from Top Shot 64. Aw, yeah. I believe it was just a car in the shape of a taco. Oh, you're literally just a vinegar fan? Okay, I think you were saying, you know, make it like vinegar to look like gum. Um, let me, uh, top, sh top shot racing N64 taco car. The top gear overdrive. There it is. <laughs> the taco car. Yeah, I'd put that in this game. That'd be pretty fun. Drink. You're just drinking raw vinegar. Damn. That's off to you. I used to be able to do that. It wasn't with vinegar. It was with onions. I used to just eat like raw onions. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't blame you. I'm not saying like, oh, that's gross. You know, vinegar does have a good taste to it. Uh, I don't know if I could drink raw vinegar like that. But then again, like I said, uh, I used to be able to, to eat uh, raw onions. You just have to build up a tolerance for it. It's like uh, chili peppers. You, know, you just have to build up a tolerance for it. Then eventually you can just start eating it raw.
But yeah, honestly though, I was really nervous about doing these type of streams because like I don't know if I, it's like I don't know if I should do art streams because like uh, I don't know who would watch it. But then again, it's like it's not like my channel's big enough, so it's like who's gonna really care? What I really do? Uh, what art streams or just like videos in general? I think not deleting anything is a the bigger important part of it because then it's the same thing with art. It's just like it shows like. You're not really embarrassed or like it just shows like how you've grown as a person to get to this point. I was thinking about that. It's like I always like wanted to delete my older videos, but like from what I hear like other YouTubers talk like, oh but my old videos, it's like it's like I have like fifty videos up there and I deleted them all because I was embarrassed, but it's like no one has a backlog because I was like a nobody at the time. It's like, hmm. So like at the same time it's like I'd like to delete them, but at the same time it's just like I think losing that little bit of history so like you can just look back on it by yourself and be like, where have I gotten from then to now is also a really important part because editing videos is also uh, art style too. It's just really tough. There's so much to work with. It's it's almost like this, working in GIMP with all these different layers. Like There's so much to worry about. You have this layer of video, then you have this layer of audio, then you have, this, then you have to make sure it's like, okay, what kind of video do I want this? Do I make, do I make this the funny video or do I make this the satire video? Or do I do nothing and just post it raw? Fuck it, we'll do it live! Like, yeah. It just really depends. Uh. Exactly, yeah. It is, the, it is missing the point. Uh, for the streams, though, I feel like I just... For me, I think I'll just delete the streams and just put the highlights up. But... Again, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because I don't want to make it seem like, oh, I've only done streaming. It's just the same thing over and over again. Because I don't, don't want to make it seem like, oh, I'm only doing art streams. Like, no, I'm doing other stuff too. It's just, it's just they always look like art streams. Yeah, so for me, I don't know if that's a good idea. Just like, then again, I can always just make like a VOD channel. Put the streams up there. What I could do is set up a VOD channel and stream on the VOD channel and then upload the bits to the main channel. And that'd probably be easier. See, and for me, it was like, oh, the cool things I thought I was doing, and then looking back at it, it's like, e, <laughs> this wasn't cool at all. I was a dork. I was a fucking loser. But yeah, for me personally, I'm just, I'm just never gonna delete them. Uh, my old videos, but again, the vod, uh, the streams, I don't know, maybe. I think that'd probably be a good idea, like, compile, like, each, like, week to its own thing. Like, oh, like, this, this stuff happened on this week or whatever. Because I, I kind of was thinking about that since, like, it is art streams. Like, what I could do is also just make it a, um, also, like, a uh, time lapse type of thing, too. Like, I'll oh, take the funny bits out, make that its own video, and then one, make, like, one whole art stream project, like, a whole time lapse video of everything I'm doing. Up to this point, I think that also might work as a pretty solid idea. I can get the streams because after a while, those can sort of clear the videos you actually put a lot of effort into. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. It's like, because then it just clutters everything else and makes it look like I'm only doing art streams. Like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not just doing art streams. Yeah. 
See, that's what I was getting at. It's like, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, this is all I do now. Because uh, the guy I showed you the other day, uh, Plague of Gripes, the guy who made Huge Quest. It's like, yeah, he used to make animations, and now he just does um, art streams of him making art. Because that's what his uh, Patreon is all for now. It's like, oh, give me money and I'll make you art. It's like, yep. See, all he does is that and looks like play Elden Ring because it's taken him a long time to beat that. And that's something I'm never going back to. I'm never going back to Elden Ring. I don't like how Elden Ring plays. It's not Dark Souls. And I hate it. No, it's just, it's so directionless. I hate it. Am I supposed to go here? Well, if you go over there, you'll die. Uh, do I go over here then? I don't know. Are you dead? Yeah. Then I don't know. Oh, fuck off, game. <laughs> Please tell me. That's the only thing I didn't like with Elden Ring. It's so directionless. <laughs> there you go. I just didn't like Elden Ring. I don't know. I mean, it's just the way I built my character. It's, it just never felt like Dark Souls. It felt like it was... It was trying to go for like one of everything. Like you got a little bit of Dark Souls, you got a little bit of Elden Ring, or Elden Ring. You got a little bit of Dark Souls, you got a little of like a Dark Souls Three in here with the whole magic system. You got a little bit of Bloodborne going on in here. And it's like, I don't know. I felt like the game was meant to just be like play like really fast and evasive, but not in a way that was like Bloodborne. Like because you have to get certain magic moves that if you like ever want to get like fast and evasive, which I wasn't really a big fan of. It's like, like just make that the standard thing, please. <laughs> yeah, right. You didn't want to explore like a whole lot of. Yeah, yeah. Dark Souls do have cool sceneries, and like, yeah, Elden Ring was just a lot like. Man, check out what we did. It was like Breath of the Wild. It was like, yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing going on in these fields, and just kind of cluttered with enemies. Um, we get, there's like a lot of little nifty spots like oh look for this one crack in this hole and then you'll find pockets it's like oh neat I think that was also the worst thing too about that game was that um what's it called I can't tell if this music's too loud uh let me turn it up just a little bit more but um <laughs> no one was asking for Windows XP yeah well, I didn't like the part, too, with Elden Ring, was that if you progress far enough and you never meet this NPC, then you'll just, like, you'll meet them once in a cave, and then they'll just be gone because you progress too far. It's like, well, where do they go? I, where do I go for this NPC? He, he was a store. Now he's gone. I didn't like that. Because you never knew what was too far of progression. Like, now you do, because there's, like, a billion guides. But, it's like, when it first came out, I was like, dude, this game is, this game is like, weird and cryptic. Like, sure, Dark Souls 1 is kind of like that way, but it's, like, it's in a way where it's, like, you're going to see that character. Because, like, you're just going to be walking down that natural path eventually. Yeah, but it's, like... Yeah, one is like always answering them properly, but even if you do answer them properly in Dark Souls 1, it's like you, you're gonna find them down like the certain path of progression anyway. So it's like, it's like, oh, like you talk to them here, you go down all the way here, and then like, you meet them like five hours later, and it's like, oh, they're here now. It's like, oh, yes, I did this. What do you think? I don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm, I'll think about that. And then they'll see you somewhere else. It's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. Dark Souls 1 is cryptic because it's like you don't know what's like the right answer to do because then like it might kill a different NPC but it's like and I think it's just a little easier because sometimes they'll sit in the same position or they'll just be in the path of progression so like you'll just run into them again with Elden Ring again it's just like everywhere it's like what's progression I don't know so how am I supposed to know right when you start the game you're not supposed to go straight for the fucking castle you're supposed to go directly behind you how was I supposed to know that I went straight for the castle because everything was pointing towards the Erd Tree. Oh, well, Dark Souls. Uh, Elden Ring was okay. Sigmar type beat, yeah. Wasn't Sigmar the Onion Man? 
It was funny, I thought that was like fan art, like people like making him into like a little girl and it's like Well isn't like in Dark Souls 2, it's like his daughter. It's like, oh, it's just real. He's got that daughter. The Dudar. Oh, it goes way lower. Makes sense. Oops. This is going with that. Okay, almost done with the gallop racing part. After this, then it's just 41. Yeah, I'm running out of time. Uh, so most likely, this will actually just be done tomorrow. Because I think that's really it. It's just making the, the 41 number, and then that's it. That's uh, the Daytona car. I need to try out Love Browsers. It's got a soundtrack I like. It's because it's that. It's because it's a legend they have on Devolver's team, Julio Cali. I think I forget his name. He's a Frenchman, but he does good stuff. He makes he like makes like every song for Devolver. He made the uh, Fall Guy music. He made Love Browsers music. He made the he made a lot of other soundtracks. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's like he, he he's that guy. Who was like they're not they're ever not gonna let him go because it's like yeah he's he's their music guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Learning those little speedrun routes were pretty cool, but then they fixed the good chunk of them, and then the game became uncool. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still beat it in like within under an hour. I wouldn't doubt it. What's crazy is those those uh speed runs where it's like go through Dark Souls. Go through every Dark Souls game. Go through one, two, three. Uh, Sekiro. What was it? Sekiro, Bloodborne, and then Elden Ring without taking a hint. It's like, Jesus Christ, you guys are... Why? Why would you do something so stupidly insane? Like, they do it, but still, it's just like... <sighs> it sounds like so much of a pain in the ass just to do. So much memorizing. What? Like... Each game, you have to memorize each pattern. Just, like, make sure you take these pathways and never get hit. So, oof. Those guys are insane. I couldn't do no death or on hell, no. Maybe Dark Souls 1, I could probably do it. But even then, I'd, I need practice on that game to even try that. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever do that. I don't got time for that. Like, I legitimately don't. I don't have time to put... Like hours to learn to speed run. Maybe like the speed run was like twenty minutes long. Maybe I could do that. I think like I tried to learn Pikmin's. I think like Pikmin's is like forty minutes max. I think a lot of it's just like unskippable cutscenes. Like I tried to learn Pikmin once. That one seems pretty fast. But than that, it's like I don't think I could do something like El Dark Souls or Elden Ring, <laughs> where it takes like hours and hours. Uh, actually, it's not. From what I saw, it's like, it's weird, because last time I saw a Pikmin 2 speedrun, it's like they, they end it at the first part when you lose Louie. It's like, yep, that's end game, because everything else is extra game, because you go back, collect a lot more treasures, and then get Louie and get out. It's like, I guess that makes sense. you think it'd be with saving Louie, though. That's the whole point. Because I think that sp speedrun ends up being, I think, maybe like two hours, because it's doesn't take that long to get that first like ten thousand. 
really doesn't. I don't remember. I could be wrong. It it could be just the type of speed run they did for just a GDQ. I don't remember them being incredibly long. So I was like surprised. I'm like, oh, is that short? And it's like they just end it there. It's like, uh. Oh. Well, because the game hits credits. I, th I think that's literally their excuse. It's like, this is the first game credits. It's like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you can call it end game when you hit credit when credits roll. So I guess that's like the excuse. Because I would assume the 100% the speed run would be a lot longer. Because, of course, you're going to have to get Louie and then get every treasure. Like, I was like, that shit takes forever. Like, was it Warland 3s? Because back to Wario Land because that game is so slow it's like I love it but that game is really slow and it's like that speed run takes like I think eight hours I think Wario Land 3 legitimately just takes eight hours because your character is just slow it's like Jesus and a lot of it's just like go from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E and back to A to go back to B to go back to G it's like oh gosh I forgot that game just like throws you everywhere just to get like every treasure Pikmin kind of does that too it just gate locks you so you get like a certain Pikmin. So you can do a certain dungeon. Yakuza. Yeah. Well, that three's fucking crazy long. So that, that means that they found a skip that puts the game in post Louis mode. The game is physically unbeatable. Yeah, there's not really a skip in Pikmin 2. I don't believe so. I think they really just... Because that's the hard part about Pikmin. Which, I, that's why I love to learn it. But it's like, it's so tough. Because it's like micromanaging to hell and back. Like, the, if you ever see a Pikmin speedrun, it's like... Watch what they do. Is they 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 know exactly what how many Pikmin to bring, where to throw them, exactly how many to bring over here. Smack this shit over here because I gotta wait for the Pikmin to grab, carry this stuff over here. And once they're over here, then I throw a Pikmin on this thing. It's like, dude, they micromanage like crazy. It's insane. It seems really fun. I'd really want to do it. It's like, man, they go nuts. It's cool. That I. I'd like to learn how to do Luigi's Mansion 2 speedrun. Uh, it's not that hard. Or at least the, sorry, the out-of-bounds Luigi Mansion speedrun's not that hard. You just need a Japanese copy of the game. Because it's got, like, less patches in it. Or it has, like, one more bug in it than the American version. Which allows you to clip straight into the basement. Because, like, I've done it. Like, you can get into the ceiling in the out-of-bounds speedrun in uh, the American version. It's just you can't get past anything else once you... Uh, clip out of bounds once. So let's clip out, clip back into bounds at a certain timing. So this is kind of weird. I hope they don't choose four captains. Like, you know they are. For a fact, they are. Like, Pikmin 3 actually wasn't too bad with the three captain system. Because, like, you can do some crazy micromanaging. Because what you can do is... You do all these puzzles. You throw this amount of Pikmin over here. Once you do the puzzle, who's ever at the bottom platform, you automatically send them back to the Onion. So they're waiting there. So once like you're running out of Pikmin, uh, you call back to the original captain you sent back to the ship. And then they get all the Pikmin already and just run straight back. Like That's another game. Pikmin 3 is another game where it's like, dude, that game is crazy micromanaging. Yeah, like those those Pikmin speedruns, like they go fucking hard. It's cool. <laughs> it's it's legitimately cool just to watch. It's like like if you ever like look back, like try to analyze it, it's like, dude, there's so much going on. It's crazy. It's like, oh, it's like you gotta do this, then you gotta do this, and then you do this, you do this, and then you also gotta do this, and throw this over here at the same time, and then send the character back. It's like, <gasps> it's like you gotta slow down. Yeah, Pikmin's a cool game. I, I think Pikmin 1's probably the perfect game to speedrun. If, like, you're new to, like, the whole micromanaging thing. Like, want to speedrun a Pikmin game. I think Pikmin 1's, like... It has just a high enough skill cap to where I think a lot of people could do it. Because Pikmin 3 is crazy hard. 
since you have the whole like ascended captain over here so you don't have to like actually walk over there so they're just walking there in the background that game's just crazy but yeah uh i'm excited for picking for though this seems cool i just really wonder because it obviously shows like there's like a picket fence right next to them so it makes me wonder if it's like they're gonna go back to the pikmin 2 thing where like, you don't really go in a house but you have the uh, caves that looks like uh children's play toys and all that so i wonder if like in pikmin 4 you're actually gonna like go to like dilapidated like well quote unquote dilapidated houses People always have the thought process that like Pikmin 4 is like it's a world with no humans. It's just uh It's just never really been confirmed. Um Yeah. It's cause those games aren't too long. At least well, a good chunk of them aren't too long. A good chunk of them aren't too long. There's always a lot of glitches. You can do a lot of fun stuff. You can always like get everywhere. You can do like a lot of stuff. Like like, Mario 64, is like, man, people have made so many freaking categories for that game, it's not even funny. You got, like, the zero-star run, the one-star run, the three-star run, um, out-of-bounds run. It's crazy. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, people can just, like, break those games down. It's like, hell them back. Um. Oh. I was like, what am I missing? Why does Gallop Racing look weird? Oh, I'm missing the shadowing. So we'll have to add that next time, too. We'll have to add it in tomorrow. Because there's no shadowing on any of the letters. Uh, we don't have the checkerboard underneath. That's going to be the easy part, though, because it's just squares. So we'll call that good for now. We're gonna watch some YouTube before we start going. It's already twelve, so let's let's chillax with some YouTube for a good second. We got some good progress on. Let's fire up the old tubey. Wow, what recommended to me art at 9 a.m.? Whoa, who would ever click on that piece of shit? <laughs> Stupid idiots. Let's see. What was the video I was going to look up? Because there was a Guptail one. I was like, oh, I know. It was Mega64. Mega64 Final Fantasy. There it is. <laughs> Oh, the classic game. The classic game for the classic videos. Perfect. Oh, hold on. I'm going to change the settings real quick. Because this setting's not on. There we go. Turn it off. Boink. Body fix. Ah, I finally finished my greatest game ever. Rad Racer. One more game left on my contract, and then I'm free to pursue my real dreams. Hip-hop. <laughs> yes, it's time for my final game. My final fantasy. Great job, Sakaguchi! Final Fantasy was such a hit, we're gonna need another one. Oh, and don't forget, there is a clause in your contract that says if the game is a hit, you owe us one more. Get to work! <laughs> final Fantasy 2? That doesn't even make sense! <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. One more game. Sakaguchi, Final Fantasy 2 was better than Final Fantasy 1. I don't know how you did it. I think we're gonna need a trilogy. <laughs> That's it. I can't come up with any more stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cram all the same ideas into a new game. I'm gonna burn them out. Yes, then I'll be free to go. Oh my god, Sakaguchi, the wizards, the magic, these games are amazing. We should make one more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you like wizards? You like magic? Well, let's flip the script a little bit. Do you like riding on the backs of whales? How about a trip to the moon? Yeah, let's see him get a load of this. Oh, Final Fantasy IV, it made me think, it made me cry. Oh, oh, the lunar whale, nice touch. We're gonna need another one. <laughs> Number five, get to work. The lunar whale, good touch.
The main character's name is Butts. Oh my <laughs> god, it's so good! Oh my god, <laughs> make six! Make six! Main character's Butts. Okay, Final Fantasy VI. You know what? Magic is dead. Robots everywhere! Oh, oh, in the world? Yeah, it's run by a clown. And you know what? He destroys it. Ah! No way Final Fantasy fans will like this. Hey, that was your best one, so, uh, seven. Okay, the world is dead. Humanity lives under a pizza in the sky. <laughs> no magic. No, they got rocks. And everyone's mean, except for this one nice. We'll make her a girl, and we'll murder the girl. We'll just murder the girl. We don't even want another Final Fantasy game. We should make a movie. Hey, uh, I'm here to tell somebody named uh, Sakaguchi that they're movie bombed and they're fired. Yeah, so if that's you, get the f out. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, <laughs> that's it. No, one will like this game. Mm. Main character's name is Butts. That's it. The world's dead. Magic's dead. They live underneath a pizza in the sky, and they use rocks. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. That's a classic video. This is your best one yet. Make a new one. That's a classic one. That's what I always think of when I think of, uh... Yep. Yeah, that's a classic one. I always think of Final Fantasy. I always think of that stupid video. Uh... I think it's what Gup tell wrong. Well, we'll just watch this guy. This is the same guy, is it? I mean, I don't think it is. 11 years ago. Either way, it's the same video. So we'll put on Hot Chick Kevin. D3. Good thing you played entertainment. If you put publishers, you would have been sued. Sonic the Hedgehog. One of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought up. He can run at sound speed, take out enemies in a flash, and best of all, he's blue-colored and knows how to handle the females. Speaking of females, the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven because there's such a mess of very beautiful and tough women that it'll make you love the franchise even more. And since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I've been inspired to make a top 10 list of the most beautiful female Sonic characters. Grab yourself a snack and a glass of orange juice and try not to reach through the screen because here we go! Number 10. Try this question on for size. Who chases and hugs Sonic all the time and wields a powerful hammer? Why, it's Amy Rose, of course. Though more of a cutie than a hottie, you can't deny the fact that she's still attractive. Two things that make her attractive are the fact that she wears sure a dress. Never and when have you ever seen three big, very smooth arcs of hair sticking out of a person's forehead? <laughs> I haven't. So I once again, Amy Rose is lovely. Head. That is until no she way. goes berserk and starts hitting stuff with her hammer. Who's at number nine? It's this alien plant girl from a distant planet, Cosmo from Sonic X. <laughs> she arrived on the article. character's planet to deliver a message saying that the galaxy was this under attack exists. by a force Cosmo. called the Matarex. She doesn't do much except tell people to stop fighting and focus on the real matter at hand. Uh, you shut up there, Guptail, for a second. You know what? I think there was a, I think there was a real piece of art by Sega not so long ago with uh, tails in it, and it's like I, I really forget this character exists. What was her name? Cosmo. Uh, fairly odd parents. Whatever. Uh, that he had a plant in his room and it was supposed to be her. I was like, oh. Well, that's a cute little reference, and people were freaking out. It was like, hey, stalkers! Ah! And it's like, huh. I really don't remember her, because I don't remember Sonic X all that well. I just remember that ending was stupid. Sonic, we're about to go home. See you later, Chris. No, I've got no friends. Come with me, Sonic. We'll run away. It's like, what is this ending? 
the stupidest shit ever. The real reason she lands at the number nine spot is that she becomes Miles Tails Prower's sweetheart. Something Tails needed yeah, for really a doesn't. long while. You know what she looks like? Almost looks more like one of the newer Kirby characters. That's what she reminds me of. Yeah, I'd believe it. It feels like a crossover episode. But that's what she kind of reminds me of. She reminds me more of like a Kirby character or something like that. Gardevoir. Yeah, like a reject uh, Pokemon design. They went with like a different um, mid-evolution. Mid right, yeah, I can see that. You know what? If that was like the uh, the beginning one, was it? Is it Raddy? Roddy? The very first step of the Gardevoir evolution? I think that'd be a good design. It'd be um, Cosmos. Numero ocho, Cream the rabbit's mother, Vanilla. She's attractive and is the size of an average human mother. What <laughs> really surprises me about mother. her is that the leader of Team Chaotix, Vector the Crocodile, falls in love with her. Kinda silly, don't you think? She's another character that doesn't do much, but in a season 3 episode of Sonic X, she helps Chris Thorndike get into space to fight the Metarex along with Sonic and friends. Wait, I never put that together. Yeah, the size, of, the size of an average human mother. I never put that together. So what? That makes Vector like ten feet tall. He's flipping huge back here. Like I never put that together. Like he's freaking huge. Yeah, he's like a whole head taller than her. I mean, maybe he's not that tall, but still, it's like what, seven foot three? It's pretty tall. Unless you're talking about Americans, everyone's like seven foot three in America, except for me. So. <laughs> Maybe he's like nine foot. Yeah, she looks like five foot. Chris, Chris isn't even that short either. He's like almost the same height as a uh, uh, vanilla. She helps Chris Thorndike get into space to fight the Metarex along yeah, with he's like Sonic and three friends. Shorter. What numbers next? Seven, of course. Wave the Swallow from Sonic Riders. People She's always, always root for the good guys, like, uh, but sometimes the wave. bad guys steal the show. Her mechanical IQ is equal to Tails. She also happens to be the smartest member of the Battle of the Rose. They never use her more I wonder why she isn't design. the leader. Like Jet the Hawk and Storm the Albatross, her specialty is riding the airboards called Extreme Gear, with two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head to her. Wait, what? The song was three feet tall and couldn't take him seriously anymore. I mean, yeah, you know what? That'd make a lot of sense. I mean. Well, I guess it'd make more sense when, like, what? If you're running around town in Sonic Adventure? It's like, yeah, Sonic and Tails are, like, really short compared to everyone else. So, it's like... Yeah. Yeah, Eggman's not that tall. He's, like, he's like barely, like, what? Like, 5'11"? He's not that tall compared to everyone else. He's, like, nearly as tall as everyone else. He's just got weird proportions. It's like uh, Mario, Mario Odyssey. It's like, man... Why does Mario look this? Why does Mario look like a complete freak compared to every other human in New Tonk City? Uh, it's pretty similar. Her calves and droopy eyes, Wave will rock your socks. Wait, what? She is riding the airboards called Extreme Gear, with two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head to her calves and droopy eyes. Wave will rock your socks. If only we could see her take wing. Numero six. To call the Echidna from Sonic Adventure One. Named after oh, yeah, an her. ancient Mayan city of the same name, Takal is the daughter of Chief Pakakamak. She's yet another character that hardly Pakakamak. does a thing, except to beg her father to stop being so greedy. She also traps herself inside the Master Emerald so that the water god Chaos doesn't rain terror upon the land. When you're the daughter of a person in the highest power, you need to look your best, and Takal delivers perfectly. That's why she's number six. Oh, you've never seen this, Super Pixel Dude? It's, uh, it's this guy's video. It's like one of the most famous things people always quote. It's uh, it's hot chick heaven. Get a snack and a cup of OJ, cause here we go. I'm just going down with some uh, YouTube videos before uh, I leave for today. Tomorrow I'm most likely gonna finish the um, Daytona car. Just gotta add a little bit of shading to the the backside of Gallop Racing. Make the 41, and that's it. Uh, Daytona car will pretty much be done. Six. Number one, two, three, four, five! God. Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> Mina Mongoose from the Sonic Archie comics. Who? How could you go wrong with a girl who looks like this? She Ew. can run nearly as fast as... 
God, I forgot about this guy's art style. <laughs> God, I forgot the faces are like always like fucked up in all his art. They're always messed up. Oh. It's I forget the guy I forget the guy who like made those comics. It's like I think we talked about that like a couple weeks ago. It's like, man. He just doesn't have a good art style. It's, you know what? His art style is like those those American anime books back in like the 2000s where it's like, we're going to teach you how to draw anime and the anime is like always super messed up. That's what his art style reminds me of. Yeah, I forget the guy's name who made these Archie comics, but he made them for like 12 years or something like that. ...to Sonic and she went from being a freedom fighter to being a pop star singer. Next to Princess Sally, she looks more humanoid than the other characters. Who could top someone who has long mauve hair? This female long standing at number hair. four, Blaze the Cat. One awesome. word, pyrokinesis. How would you like to have that superpower? I mean, Blaze could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would be perfectly fine. <laughs> also, her 45 degree ponytail makes her look like a Native American. I really love the fact that her love interest is the telekinetic hedgehog Silver. The combination of mind moving and fire superpowers make these two a reliable couple. But what really lands Blaze in the number four spot is that her attitude is apparently more different from the other females. So different. Next so up true. is number three. What's better than having a female with cascading quills? How about a female with cascading quills and hair? Julie Sue, the Echidna, what? another Archie comic exclusive, has the that's not really a big difference there. Hold on. What's better than having a female with cascading quills? How about a female with cascading quills and hair? <laughs> quills and hair. Now you're on my top three. <laughs> so stupid. So like, what, what, what kind of like OC would you need this guy for like to make number one? Like, I already know the answer, but it's like, what? You need, like, quills, feather, uh, a robotic tendril, hair, and then, like, what? Sl droopy eyes? Make that an Archie character, and I'm sure that'll Julie be a winner. Julie Sue, the Echidna, another Archie comic exclusive, has that feature. She's smart, knows exactly what to do as a freedom fighter, and even trained Amy once. She's also the girl of Knuckles' dreams. <laughs> Lucky him. Her older self in the series, Mobius, X years later, is just downright hot. Just look at that long ponytail. Now we're talking. <laughs> Number one, two, button my shoe. Princess Sally Acorn. Fuck. There's a lot to say about this character. She's the heir to the throne, Sonic's first official Unbelievably romance, the only hot. character that used to not wear clothes, brave and athletic, the most humanoid character, and is like a mother to tail. Oh, man, some of the In the TV show, the Sonic Sat AM, one freedom fighter, the cowardly Antoine, constantly tries to woo Sally, but doesn't succeed because he's a coward. The princess is also a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest. Although, there were a couple of times when she really snapped and acted like a lunatic. In the comics, that is. But overall, Sally Acorn Only really stands out amongst the slew of females, not just because she's Sonic's first official love interest, or because she's the only one who didn't wear clothes, but because in the comics, she grew very long hair and married Sonic in the future, becoming the queen. That's stupid. If they marry Sonic... So, you've mm, seen a pyrokinetic cat... A swallow, two gorgeous echidnas, and even a princess. Who could possibly top those kinds of females? Only well, get ready, folks. This the is the number one hips. hottest Sonic the Hedgehog they female character. Eggman. Oh. Who'd have thought? Rouge the Bat. If anybody denies it, how dare you? This woman can fly, she's as strong as Knuckles, and is a femme fatale seducing other characters into getting what she wants. Instead of having one love interest, she has two, Knuckles and Shadow the Hedgehog. Being a treasure thief, she really she's only interested in, in one object set. 
jewels, especially the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Called her there a femboy. Have been situations Even where better, she's a femboy. Been exposed, but it eventually got censored. What a price to you pay. You missed it, man. I, I think the best part about this beauty you missed the is that she wears that three like, different like, outfits three unlike the other three female characters. And who wouldn't want to fly across the landscape, be as strong as Sean Johnson, and flirt Ooh. with any male anytime, anywhere? These three traits make Rouge the Bat triumph over all... Hey, that number three does not list it properly. That does not say flirting with every man. I take that back. Art isn't real. Well, debatable. <laughs> this is real art. <laughs> it, it, it takes a... Uh, what is it? A genius Kajumbo to only make this type of stuff. Wings for flying, strength of a gymnast, and flirting with men. That's how you become the best character. Man, why didn't I think of that? If I was born a female, I should just flirt with everyone. Shit. I can make a top ten list easy. All the Sonic the Hedgehog females. My hat goes off to you, Sonic Team USA. You ought to be proud. What? There you have it, folks. Those were the hottest female chicks in the Sonic, Sonic wasn't universe. Made by the USA team. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy nice. Valentine's Day, and I'll see you later. Here we go! Gosh. Yeah, right. It has to be 45 degrees to make me look like a Native American. So I need. Let's see. I need wings, hair. Robotics, 45 degree angled hair, strong, as tall as a human mother, and flirting. Those are the seven attributes to a woman. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty, that sounds pretty, uh, that sounds pretty on par. You know, if you can do those seven things, you will become a genius kajumbo. Um... Oh, music's not on. Uh, what would be another good video? Uh, you missed it earlier, uh, Pixel Dude. We were playing the, <laughs> we were playing the Final Fantasy Seven, uh, or the Final Fantasy uh, Mega Sixty Four video. Sakaguchi, we're not worthy of you. You should make a seven. That's it. The world's dead. Everyone's dead. They live underneath a pizza. Magic's dead. They use rocks. And then, then there's a, everyone's mean, except a girl. We'll make her a girl, and then we'll kill the girl. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. It's Final Fantasy, all right. What would be another good video? Hmm, what's a classic one? What's a classic video that'd be really good? Um. Hmm. None of mine, that's for dang sure. Undertale 3D art. Oh, wow. Uh, how much time do I have? I got like 10 minutes. Uh, oh, is there a demo out? Actually, that's a good point. Uh, was there a demo? Because I know there was just a big update that happened the other day for, uh, Buck Up and Drive. So now my, uh, files are all updated. Hopefully it runs better. I don't know if it really will. Uh, I guess I'll just be, have to, that's just something I'll just have to see if it ever does. Um, where is it? Where is Itch.io? Let me see this. Because there is a pretty cool game I saw. Uh, it's definitely not for everyone. Doom wad stream win? What? Doom wads? What's that? What's wads? I think you meant like Doom Notepad edition. That just happened not so long ago. Someone made a Doom Run Notepad, which was pretty pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Let me go to explore. Baba is you extreme? Oh God. I don't want to play that. That seems like too much for me, Ichio. Um, Aereo GPX. Oh, I spelled Aereo wrong.
Yeah, I guess this is the one. Uh, oh, well, he's made a whole lot more maps. Uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, we'll install that. Uh... I'd call them mods that make them sound hard. Well, like, what is wads? Is like, is it like something I had to like download from a like, different website, or is that like, something that's like on the uh, Steam Workshop? Is that be a fun game to touch back on? I haven't touched the uh, Classic Doom in a good minute. That's something I haven't done in, like forever. Um, my my wrist compressions are coming off. Uh, Oh, 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 file names, right, wads, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, W8, ASD, gotcha. For wads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to check in with that, see how that is. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad idea. Aerial GPX, I forgot. I totally forgot there was a, an active demo for it. I should check that out uh, pretty soon. That sounds like a good idea for a downtime thing. Um, I could play a spooky game. I do have, uh, I think it's Kilgore. I believe. A Trigor. There we go. That's a little indie horror game. That doesn't take too long. Um, hmm. What would be a good little game to play in the stream with area GPX? Because there is a game I'm looking at. It's, uh... Uh, well, let me download area GPX. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if I can, because it's not letting me download it. Hmm. Now I'm upset I can't play Aero GPX. Well, that might be off the table. I can't do that. Oh, demo's out tomorrow. Then why does it say install today? Because there's literally like an install button I can just install right now. Hmm. Weird. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, oh yeah, there's Carnival. I don't know how well that'd run. I tried this on my computer. Uh, I mean, I could do a the rest of my speed run for Nightmare Decay. I'm doing a knife run right now. It's really annoying. Uh, Vampire Spires. Oh, there's an update for that. Hmm. What's a good game? Let's see. Oh, well, there's Spark the Electric Gesture. That's like the knockoff version of Sonic. Show and tell stream? I mean, yeah, if I just take all my pictures and download them, upload them so I can just show them on stream, yeah, I can, I can do that too. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I know. If I can't get, uh, if I can't get aerial GPX to work, I can do, uh, do RE4 with only beginning weapons on professional. I mean, that's not hard. Unless you're talking about, like, beginning weapons throughout the whole game, and that's not that hard, honestly. Uh, beginning sniper rifle is actually the best sniper rifle in the game. Uh, beginning pistol's not too bad. It can carry you through most of the game, just not that well. Broken butterfly, which is the first magnum you get, is actually the strongest magnum in the whole game, depending on what version it is. Um... I think that's about it. I think, I think the only benefit with the beginning shotgun, no upgrades. Well, hell no. 
If I'm doing no upgrades, only beginning guns, I'm playing the VR version. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing my VR version. I say screw you. <laughs> That's all I'll do. I was say because doing a whole beginning, uh, beginning gun run RE4 with like maxed out beginning weapons is actually really easy. I'm trying to think. I think the upgraded shotgun, the beginning shotgun to max, is just no bullet drop. Or no damage drop, so I think it's just like flat damage no matter how far you shoot. I believe. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think a beginning weapons run is that hard. Unless you don't upgrade. It just take a lot longer. I mean, if I was to do a no wep if I was to do a whole game with no upgrades, I'd rather just do ammo capacity and that's it. So if I'm not going to get anything else, like no reload speeds, like I'd rather just get more ammo capacity for all the guns. That seems like a pain. Um, I could do that. But yeah, uh, I can do Bond High Taxi. That's the, um, uh, the crazy flying version of Crazy Taxi. If I can't get aerial GPX to work. Because there's a demo. Uh, what else would be? Oh yeah, there's that game, Friends vs. Friends. I should... Oh, is the demo already down? Can I not play it? What the hell? I didn't even get a chance to play it. Never mind, I can't do Friends vs. Friends. I wanted to see what that game was like actually in-game. I can't even check it out. Yeah, this is buy game now. Suck my crotch. I don't want to play your game anyways. Shitty game! Well. Oh, right. This is a horror game. It's a demo. Um, Slay the Princess. It's a psychological horror game. Um, I have no idea what that'd be about. Seems kind of neat. Yeah, there's a couple things I could do. No yellow herb use? That sounds like the first time I played RE4. I didn't know you could use yellow herbs to upgrade your health. I thought they were useless. So I always like, fed them to Ashley the first time. And I realized, like, wait a minute. She's got a bigger health bar. How did that happen? Um, so that's what I'd probably do. I just throw every yellow herb at Ashley. Some professional run, she'd take like what? One and a half hits, and she's dead. Maybe like two crossbow arrows, and that's it. There's not a whole lot she could take on professional mode. She can probably take like one bear trap, and that's it. And I'd put her like at one percent health or something stupid. I just know Ash is a pain in the ass in that game. Oh, I can't play that demo for this either. Damn it! This is a game called Potionomics. It had a cool art style. It had a really cool 3D art style. And I can't play the demo. Fuck. Wait, what was this game again? <laughs> Wait, what was this? Is this like some stupid porn game? It's just called Spooky Milk Life. What, what, what's so spooky about it? Uh, I don't think there's anything spooky. I think it just might be a stupid porn game. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it's an RPG. One of those types of RPG games. Got it. There's nothing spooky about it, though. Damn it. I just clicked on titles that sounded cool. I should actually check them out. <laughs> Maybe I should look at them more than none at all. That'd probably help. Oh yeah, there was a... Right, there was a Bloodborne PSX update. What did the update do? Did it add in a Bloodborne cart? I saw something like Bloodborne Cart was out, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it. Mm. That's something I like to play, but it's just not there. Mm. 
Watch this cool Minecraft video. It better not get me banned. I don't trust you, Pixel Dude. I don't trust you for Jack. But yeah, um, after probably finishing the Daytona thing, yeah, we can do some like little games here and there just to uh, give us a break. Uh, I could do a show and tell thing. I think the next art thing I'll probably work on after the Daytona car is I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start uh, painting the rest of the figures because like they're just sitting there unpainted. I got like halfway with done with one. Um, I just gotta continue on it, so I might do that as the next art thing is paint the uh, figures on my desk. I think that'd be a good idea. Huh. Some lore in the mushrooms in the back room. Mushrooms. Oh! Those little guys. Um. Boom! Here, hold on. Ah! Stupid headphone wire. Why are you gonna get caught in everything? Ah! Hold on, give me a second. I got this. I got this. This is the reason I got this program to do this. Hold the phone. Working? Yeah, it's working. There we go. Let's get little mushrooms. They were little tin mushroom candies from... What, 2004? Woo, we've seen those last week. I thought about that. That's where those little mushrooms are there. They're pretty cool. Oh, I'm glad I have that phone program so I don't have to like actually grab stuff. Um, oh, but I can actually show you real quick. Uh, these are the little figures I'm talking about. That I'm going to be working on. Kind of bitch. Hey, you know what? Shut up. This is my bedroom. I'll do whatever the hell I want with it. I'm a grown ass man. I feel like. God, I'm like fucking Millhouse's dad. Oh yeah? I sleep in a I sleep in my uh what was it? I sleep in a race car bed. What are you sleeping? I sleep in a bed with my wife. It's like, damn it. Getting destroyed. <laughs> no, but um. No, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it's childish. I'm just saying it's uh, it just reminds me of the bit from Simpsons, where it's uh, where it's just uh, yeah, I sleep in a race car bed. What do you sleep in? I sleep in a bed with my wife. That's all I meant. But yeah, no, uh, my room's just a whole hoarder collection things of just uh, various items and all that. Uh, a lot of cool stuff I have on my shelf. Uh, I can do that too. I can take some pictures, do some show and tell, and then I can just show some of the stuff that's in, around my room. Everything. Uh, I'll have to clean up. <laughs> I know you saw the subway bag on accident. My bad. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> yeah, it's a little messy. Uh, I, got, I just gotta throw some stuff out. Make sure, because I was just trying to not throw anything out just in case nothing worked. But yeah, I'm just bad at throwing my trash cans. Throwing my trash away and all that, so I'll, I'll do that. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff. A little too much. But yeah, I'll figure it out. We'll finish Daytona car. We'll mess around. Um, once the Daytona the Daytona car is done tomorrow, we'll mess around with some stuff, probably in my bedroom, and then um, show some art things. And then Wednesday, we'll also mess around. Cause Thursday, I'll probably get back onto art again. It'll be the little milk figures. That's what I'll be working on. Because those, those are something that need to be done. They have to be done. Because it's just not uh, great that they're just going to stay there unpainted. 
Oh yeah, I actually have another Mill Slug figure. I have a, a big one. It's unpainted. And then there's the gas cans. I got a lot of stuff to work on. Some stuff that I just like finished to be painted in this room. Uh, other than that, everything mostly just needs dusting. Everything's getting kind of dusty in here. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's the end of the stream. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. Um, just, uh, what's it called? Video about, uh, Final Fantasy, and then just, uh, GupTales. Hottest so song of characters. Hot chick heaven! God. I think that video will always be a classic. <laughs> His requirements are so stupid. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I got. You guys have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, find Trump, kiss him on the mouth, and make sure you say your prayers to the Erd Tree. Mm. <laughs>